Hello. Hello. Hey, how is everybody oh, doing? Tuesday. 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 Yeah. Tuesday. For a day that started off so crummy, we hit fifteen hundred. And we yes. usually don't talk about numbers too much for us, but this year I'm happy about it. I'm really, yeah. really, really happy about it. So this was a. Uh, <laughs> See, she doesn't discuss this stuff with me in advance. I always know there's something coming, but uh, well, uh, pardon me for a second, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys for sticking out with us uh, and uh, helping us uh, to reach 1500. It's not a lot in a bigger scale, but it's a lot for us. And without you guys, it, it wouldn't be that. We wouldn't have gotten there without you, because after all, you're the guys that uh, and girls who are subscribing to us, who are coming here uh, every night and listening to our lives and watching our cinematic videos and just being an awesome, friendly, family community mm. that we enjoy so much. So, 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 so much. Sorry, yes. I'm back. Ah. So thank you so, so much for everything, guys. It's been a blast. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just even stronger and with even bigger motivation on Motivation Tuesday uh, going to continue. 1500 is amazing. We had, like I said, 42 at the beginning of February. And the numbers make us strong. But you guys, honestly, and I know this sounds cliche, are such an amazing foundation. You guys are the ones that makes uh, this channel tick you know mm -hmm. and the numbers are great but you guys are the stars of the show and i can't thank you enough and to have you guys come back and, and hang out and share it and invite friends here uh we can never begin to thank you enough for what you've given us so from the bottom of our hearts both of us yeah, thank you thank so you. much thank you. sorry i didn't do like Xenia did with uh uh, trumpets and all that stuff. Well, She's time. very good at doing these things without discussing it first. Isn't she? God almighty. I'll come up with something even better. I feel like I'm on that, like AM radio somewhere. So <laughs> if you want a 2000, get your yeah. friends subscribed to us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good incentive. You guys um, are so great. Thank you so much. Yeah. It, it's really awesome. It was a really awesome. We'll do a little roll call on. What do you think? Uh, yeah, let's let's try that. So, Where is Beauty Blog? Excellent channel. Yeah. Happy to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Bob Butterfly Brooke. Oh, the happy bride. Oh. Yes, congratulations again on your wedding. It was a great live wedding. If you guys go in see, you definitely got to check that out. It was beautiful. You guys were amazing. It was such a, as, as you do everything else in life, it was so honest to watch you guys in that. So yeah, thank we, you for letting us be your part. We had to break up our stream for just a minute just yeah. to take a peek uh, and let our viewers take a peek on your wedding as well. So thank you so, so much. So happy for you. Uh, Dr. Sten Egberg. Hello, hello. Always great to have a doctor in the house. I feel like yeah. we're on a plane. If somebody has a coronary tonight, we have a doctor in the house. So we're good. We're covered. Irvin the paid tourist, traveling, traveling. And Being safe. At the same time. Hoping yes. you're safe, hoping you're well. Healers and heathens, Neil uh -huh. or Annalise, uh, once baby. again. Tell baby boy. Jim. You never know. Jim. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, but you should never tell her anything. Have you not learned that by now? JJ, the karaoke, yeah, right welcome, chair driver. Let's get here. Juliet, Juliet Miranda. Funny, she should appear. Yeah, we're going to have something yes. special in a little, little tiny bit. Yep, so I may, we can say mail. I like to no. say mail call. No, no I'm saying say it. We can't call. say that. He didn't say that. Mail call. Christy K9 is in hello. Welcome. So good to have you back. Um, My cry for, for help. help. We got to, uh, okay, because we're in the list. Let's see if you've written already, because we've got to get you. Uh, can you type something in the chat, please? Uh, uh, oh, there you're up here. Okay, perfect. I got to give uh, you, you your right. I've been doing a lot of uh, live streaming lately. Yes. Uh, so kudos for that. I went on today and caught like the last 40 seconds and I seen your beard for a bit. <laughs> so your live stream's gotten kind of like us. I know it froze up and I caught you at the last minute. So I wish I could come up more next time. Panic DVDs, uh, Paranormal and Spooky. 
educational okay. minister with paranormal abilities. Yeah, yeah, no, we're all stuck on the mirrors. <laughs> Even the name, I love it. Panic D videos. It's got that kind of hipster, like a dubstep sound. Oh yeah, of panic. it's it's quite interesting. <laughs> I'll definitely check that out too. Philip Cochran, are you about to have dinner, or are you cooking dinner? Usually, it's your dinner time around this. Or playing a new guitar, perhaps. Bottle cap just popped in. Bottle caps. There's the man. How are you? Hopefully Welcome. In a good mood today. Yes, because today's a celebration day. Yay! Fifteen hundred, my friends. Thank you so much. I can't get over that. I can't. Uh, it's unbelievable. Polynesian vlogger. There's another great channel. This yes. Kind and sincere. Very guy. kind and sincere. Hopefully yeah. you are safe where you are yes. right now. Craft beer pour is welcome uh, back. The champs, the champs of the invasion of the live yeah. stream that made it out living, making it out thriving, I should say. Yeah. Uh, Sophia's passion for cooking. Hello. Hello. Okay. Carol you to Emerson TV, the originals. TriStar, who is having her birthday tomorrow, and Win City Stevo, with a perfect right. sense of humor. Let's say hi to everybody. Hi. Say we got 1,500. We got 1,500. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you know, hi, you got to celebrate. <laughs> you look so fun. You got to say, say goodnight to everybody. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Say thank you for helping us get to 1,500. Thank you, 1500. There, close enough. <laughs> hey, babe, love you. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I know where this is going. No. No, I'm going to have to look at you and you, new personal show. Yeah, so I was just going to say that. The afternoon drive home show. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you all for congratulations. Rocky and yeah. Derek show. Yes, is thank you. And uh, WJ Auto Works. Hi, hello. Hello, hello, hello. WJ Auto Works feels safe because we've got no more painting right now to do. So you see, yeah. come out of the woodwork. And come he was actually a huge help, and I can't thank Maybe. him enough. Thankfully, it's yes. Done. He stayed with us till what, 12 30 that night, Friday night? Yes, that was a late night, so, uh, but was very appreciated for that. So. Terrell, the original, is in the house, the mother of all mods. Tyler's here. Hey, there's my Canadian buddy. How are you doing? Good to see you here. And there's Windy City with that Steve-O humor that we love. Oh, yeah. I'm always looking forward to it. Uh, Diva Dan was there. Oh, very nice. Uh, very yeah. nice. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah. We hope that we've seen everybody. And yes. for those of you who are hiding behind the chat, that's okay. Uh, just say hi if you can. Yep. If not, just listen to us. That's fine as well. Brooke says Rick says he's love. Well, we'll send our love right back to him. So I'm... Uh, so glad to have you here. And once again, congratulations to the both of you. And That's... Abby Scott was in too. And, and oh. Joey was in too. So I'm oh. sure they're coming right back. That's, I hope so. Okay, I, yes. I hope so. Tonight's going to be a great night. We're just going to talk some tech. I hope you guys got some questions. Yeah, I can get to your questions ready. Yep. And for those of you who are new and upcoming <laughs> <laughs> to our channel, we're a husband and wife team making videos and photos at the same time getting up close and personal with YouTube creators from all around the world. Every night from Monday to Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're here on Live with Usha with our special guests and awesome you in the chat. That's Thank you right. for coming. And while we are doing our little surprise unboxing, yep. uh, you guys get ready your questions. What do you want? Uh, you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Didn't expect that time to do. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my uh, god! Let's <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> yeah. Well, there yeah. you go, folks. Uh, thank you, Alex uh, Fox, for the uh, congrats on fifteen hundred. Thank you so so much. Yeah. It's so great to have you. Here. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody. And yes, Win City. She should ask for twenty bucks because I'm sure she had a percentage in that. Uh, Subscription count. Mm -hmm. Win City suggesting that uh, she should be given. Uh, Audrey should be given. Oh, well, Audrey, yeah, 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 exactly. Audrey's our rough and tough manager. She's on the when they don't collect, she goes off. But, uh, uh, Tri Star, uh, did we miss Tri Star? No, I no? missed okay. Tri Star. So, it's Tri Star's birthday tomorrow. So, oh, uh, yeah. Happy well, birthday. happy early birthday. In case we miss it, you definitely make sure you're tomorrow night, even if it's just for a few minutes, so we can just say a quick. Chat is really lagging. I can see it right now. So, guys, if we uh, miss something or mm -hmm. or it feels like we're not answering, it's just because we yep. really don't see it right away here. Uh, I don't know why. 
Um, I, hope I mean, you guys see it right away after we talk, but yeah. uh, <laughs> it's really <laughs> lagging here. Um, a few months ago, she was a quiet one. Now, who, yeah. we see who the boss is. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll go that far, but about the quiet, yeah, I would uh, definitely oh. bite on that. She's uh, <laughs> who wrote that? Bottle caps? Uh, no, uh, Tristar oh. actually. Oh, Tristar. I thought that, uh, Brooke, I thought that Rick already hit 500. Like, yeah. Uh, didn't we shut it out already? Actually, Bottle Cats, we got 2510 Bell, and it is rated high. The problem is, is that sometimes our kids get onto it. Or we forget when we're uploading a bunch of stuff and not to uh, disable it. So that's what I'm checking on right now. But thanks for bringing the happy uh, celebration. I really hope table. you're in a good mood today. Yeah. Yesterday wasn't the best for you, so. Um, <laughs> Nathan likes see drums. Twitter for that. <laughs> yeah, Nathan, Ballcap is looking for you, by the way, so don't feel stopped or anything. Yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 he wants to trade pork chop stories with him. Yeah. Yeah, the Telus Hub, five hundred gigs a month. Okay, we're unlimited, and we usually, on in all honesty, we always go over a terabyte a month in download, and we're yeah. now we're uploading. So cool has through. a shitty internet now. <laughs> oh my God, tonight she's on fire. Well, I, I felt, <coughs> I felt the ball caps cross the uh, line yesterday. Uh, Nathan supports like a wonder bra. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Yeah. Tyler, thank you so much, my friend. We really do appreciate it. Oh, yes. Oh, Rick is watching too. Yes, that's yeah. right. Uh, well, we started with 42, uh, Brooke. Yes, thank you for clarification. I didn't understand it. Uh, we started with 42 in February, um, just uh, I think two weeks before the big apocalypse. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Or after. Or we'll after. start after because that's when Pierre McKinn did that video about you know that yeah. they use it as a benefit. Two weeks before twentieth. Twentieth was the date to change the count. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Before that comes, okay, I think you meant the rush. Yeah, Sorry. no, no. Okay. So. Uh, so in February we had forty-two, and <coughs> we have fifteen hundred thanks to you guys. So yep. it's it's very much appreciated. That's true, and Rick was there from the very yep, beginning too. Yeah, that's so. right. And it is a rush. You want a prize? Okay. <laughs> Here. There's his friends. Take care. And did you guys see my our our congratulations on Twitter? I hope you guys seen it. Uh, there's a little congratulations for your wedding. <laughs> no, no, it was yeah. So she was making an action while we were doing the live stream for yeah. you guys. So <laughs> I was so excited for you. Eric Thread RC, thank you, my friend, for coming. So good to have you here. I sent you a picture. Yeah, I can imagine. I can well imagine. Yeah, look it up first. Like an old oh, guys. We'll see. Yeah. If it's worth I, it. I know already. If you volunteer like that, time. what's coming? Yeah. And you guys, you have to be on a honeymoon. What are you doing on the internet? That's right. We love you having yeah. being here, but, uh, you know. There. That's the stern talking to segment by Xenia. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to bed. <laughs> I didn't say why. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. Well, see, uh, uh, I already seen your ears, bottle caps. Yeah. So unless it's revealing something more than what yeah. you sent in the picture a couple days before that, uh, this is not uh, doing <laughs> it. said we are naked. Oh, well. well, there you go. So one step <gasps> less to do. That's, that's fantastic. Act naturally. Hello, and hey. thank you very much. How are you? We just uh, catch it up with uh, Brooke and uh, Rick's honeymoon from the Corn Life Network. It yeah, live like on Pusha. Yeah, it sounds like. What it is Rick and Brooke doing it's on their honeymoon? It's wild in the corn patch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You guys, is it's wild in the corn patch? Uh, um, thank you so much, Eric. I really, we really appreciate it. And same, uh, act naturally. Thank you guys so much. We actually hit it around supper time, and I just want to put up the last couple minutes of the video. Oh, there. I'm naked too and cooking dinner. Well, uh, I was afraid that I'm like, hoping it's uh, the wife, but I have a feeling that's Neil. Yeah, that's and I was afraid that you're going to say I'm naked too, I'm in the gym. <laughs> and thanks God, that's not the case. So. Oh my God! I can imagine. I can just picture Rick laughing at it. I can just picture him not <laughs> naked, 
<laughs> but I can picture him laughing on the, the neck up. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations to you. That's amazing, yep. isn't it? Uh, it is, and it is uh, it, when it is, especially when it plateaus at certain mm -hmm. point, and it's like it's like pulling teeth almost, like what each uh, stuff. But it's just nice. To Guys, have. there's something I realized when we were at 42 to go to 500 was like lightning because everybody was new, fresh yeah. on the gate. Then from 500 to 750 was, meh. you know, it was good. I mean, we still went up fast, but like lots of plateaus. 750 to 1,000 went really quick because everybody's excited to see you hit that number more. And then like 1,000 to 1,250 is like watching the paint dry. And 1,250 onward makes that part look fast. And I know what's going on. Like I'll go into some place and I'll have like some people say, oh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to support you. And I do. And they write. They You see them write that they're supporting you. They come up and they put a message. And and then there's like two likes out of nine if you're lucky. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's once it gets that number, people kind of think like, well, they don't really need it. They won't notice the number because it's marked like 1.4, 1.3k. So yeah, don't be let down if it kind of takes a little longer. So just a little side note, uh, if I can pass on anything, because yeah, it is frustrating by times. Let's see here. Eric the Red just got home, uh, taking it few episodes of the History Channel. Excellent. Well, that's a great way to pass the evening. Yeah, no. Great stuff with them. One of the only leftover channels that has any decent quality compared to TLC and Discovery. Look who we have uh, in. Yeah. Trailer, Trailer Park, Park guy. guy. Hello. How are you? Welcome it's good back. to see you. Yes. Hope you feel well. Hope all is well. Yeah. Another guy with a great channel, funny channel. Funny guest. Yeah. Funny guest. Yeah. Juliet was uh, going to call her podcast Naked and Drinking. Really? No, that's what she said. Oh, yeah. There you go. She can pull it off too. She's got that character. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Butterfly Brooke said that uh, she wanted a band named Free Beer and Pizza. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah, Tanny D. That's, that's yeah. true. Uh, you lose some, you gain some. But yeah. you can't get attached to each. But you don't even really number. lose a lot after like 12, 50, 1300. It's not like this that let down, you lose 20 and that. It's literally, you just kind of go. You go and support people and they'll say thank you, and you're just not as many. It's just a part of it, I guess. I don't know. I heard that even when we were like, oh, sorry, like under a thousand number of people like telling that. Yeah. You know, so I guess it's just kind of a part of it. Cher Erickson. Hello, hello. Welcome. Good to have you here. So nice to have you here. Steph is here from Louisiana. Uh, Steph, the kind, beautiful soul. That's right. She is the sweetheart of the sweet. You guys all are. You're amazing people. You wear your heart on your sleeves. You're good supporters. Even our cranky old uncle bottle caps over there has a, a heart to him. You looking for him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, alrighty, guys. I guess it's that time. It's mail call. We're gonna come up with some music or something. But what did she say? I don't know. <laughs> we can turn them. We can turn that. Well, they can hear us. They would have said they can't hear us. Yeah, but it sounds us, like no? it's in a tunnel. Does it? Guys, help me here. Oh, my God almighty. Only I'm pretty sure we're allowed. After. We're allowed enough. <laughs> Eric, I don't want any more subs. <laughs> yeah. Eric's like the purest. I always say he's the one who keeps has always kept me honest in YouTube. It's mm -hmm. been him. Because I had to win him over. Because he didn't at first, he's like, well, I know some people write the same messages, and I got my own click, and I'm like, I have good content, and I, well, yeah, but people say they come back, but then they just want to sub, and they don't return. So he took me to task, and I like to think that I built a better following because of him, so I do owe him a lot for that. Mail call, mail call, yes. Female mail, call. Mail, yeah, mail, mail. Right. Female call. Happy trails hiking. Hello, hello. Mm. Can't say. Just want to say hi. Well, thank you. Thank hey. you for coming in and saying hi. And, and a big hello to you as well. So great to have you here. Oh, my God. It's like all the old friends coming back at one time. I love it. Yeah. What a way to celebrate 1,500, guys. You have no idea. I couldn't ask to do it any other way or with any other people than you guys right now. I am touched 10 times over by all of this. Thank you so much. And Brooke is cracking up. She likes turkey on subs. Yes. 
<laughs> also, uh, guys, uh, this, is also, guys, this uh, week is coming up our fiftieth live stream. Yes, that's right. Thursday. Thursday will be fiftieth. 50. Fifty. Not I bad for people who never want to be in yeah. front of the camera. <laughs> we we just started a month and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> or almost two. Uh it's it's kind of, it feels weird. But yeah, so that is coming up too. Uh that's a that's, celebration as well. You know, life is not always easy, but it's nice to have these moments where not rewarding, but more than rewarding. I don't know how what you would call it. Just um uh, it makes things feel like there um, there is some really good highlights in this world. Yeah. Uh, Happy Trails hit a 1,000 last week, too. Hey, congratulations. congratulations. Amazing channel, guys. You deserve every minute of it. Backwood Stone, oh. Boulder Dash, and Blue. Yes, yes. I, I think I've seen him on JJK's uh, site, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Just today we connected. So great to have you here. Maybe he was the 1500s. I don't know Maybe, who it was. So. Yeah, yeah, that would be interesting to know. Because it would be around that time. So You know, like, like those draws when you, if you're a million yeah. follower or something. You're gonna I knew try. Steve O, somebody was going to make a comment, and nine chances out of ten it was going to be you. So, hey, and I like the comments. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Molest it all to pieces. There you go. <laughs> I'll not even fight it. I'll go along with you. And uh, also, by the way, Trailer Park Guy had congratulated us too on the uh, subs just a few minutes Thank ago. You. Thank, Thank you so you much. All. Thank you all who, yeah. who congratulated us. Well, so while we are doing the un unboxing of unpacking <laughs> in the back, uh, you can uh, you can get your questions ready for Tuesday yep. Tech Talk. That's and right. and <laughs> you can tweet out this live stream. And if you're lazy so bad stop saying that for the love of god stop saying that I, but i'm just saying truth <laughs> it's, it's transparent go over to our twitter and reshare our poster um if you don't want to share the direct link steve uh, will be right back he's much. cooking dinner no problem sounds good okay so who who what could that be yeah neil or annalise Shush. <laughs> Don't say anything. Okay, so let's see. This is we got we got it today and we saved it for tonight live stream because of course we want to share this with you guys, same as we did with Camaro time. Thank you so much. I'm so week. glad you're here. There's one of the other ones right from the beginning. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my so last week we got Hosier's uh, beautiful mug, edge glass mug, and a sticker. Today we got a pack from Juliet Miranda. Which is so cool. She was amazing guest on our uh, live stream. Yep. Uh, she's a podcaster and yep. starting off on YouTube as well. Yep. Uh, she grabbed Don Bon Jovi's Oh, box. yeah, that's right. There you go. She's the one that has her hand <laughs> on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What are you on? Let's see what is in there. Let's see what is in there. Welcome within hiking distance. Thank you so much for coming. Before Xenia talked, I just wanted to get that in. Yes. It's a narrow window. <laughs> narrow window. <laughs> Aww. Which is to the Yeah, you open that, I'll open it. Okay, so there is a cute sticker. She yep. thinks I'm really nice. This is so, so nice there. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. You can see. Oh. Okay. Xenia and Andrew, it's been so fun sitting, getting to know you. Thanks so much for supporting the podcast. Cheers to the future. That's Juliet Miranda. There's something Yeah, no, that's why there. I was holding it. So I this is it. so sweet. Thank you. The un oh, isn't that cool? The unwritable rat. Yeah. I love it. And then that's our podcast. Yeah. So, so go check it out. I'm going to put the link she on our huge, live stream. Huge, if you haven't checked that out, following. definitely do that. And let's see what else we got in here. There we go. This is wonderful. This is amazing, guys. And we got it done the day we hit 1,500 subs. How cool is that? Yeah, I know. Uh, Juliet, know? Uh, this is amazing. Yeah. Thank you. So oh, I got to take it out of the package. Well, you got to you gotta show I, them. It's unboxing. I know. Right? It's unboxed. <laughs> it's 
not the nag hour. <laughs> Look at this, guys. They're knocking together something because I want to give it all the wow. justice. Isn't that cool? This is so amazing. The unrideable rand flask. Customized flask. This is so cool. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Juliet, and say thank you to our guy as well. Yes, this is such a. This oh. is so amazing. Thank you, guys, so much, and for the card, and so oh. it, and and this is so thoughtful of yeah. you. Yeah, no, I love it. I love this it. Is I love so it. So cool. Oh. Yeah, and once we're gonna set up everything, we're gonna have everything yep. set up somewhere so it all can be seen. Yeah, uh, all the posters and and gifts. This is amazing, guys. Uh, definitely go check her out. I already posted the links. I'm just gonna post it one more time. Juliet Miranda, and she's in the chat as well. Go <sighs> check her out. Her podcast is amazing, guys. We don't ask for anything in return. We get more than enough having you guys in the audience every night and amazing people that was. Kind enough to share their time to come on and talk to us. And we don't expect anything else to return. Already we get way more than we could have ever dreamt of. But like something like this, once again, like Hosier and the it it absolutely means the world. Yeah, it's this it's very so cool. thoughtful, very, very thoughtful yeah. and a car and everything. Thank you yeah. so, so, so amazingly yes. much. Julia, Aww. you're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> it's truly appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Andrew will be using the flask yeah. in the mornings when he does his live and smokes. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good right. idea. I love it. I love it. Thank you, JJ. Uh, well, we're celebrating it. it we're celebrating it because you guys are here with us. It's so cool. It's so yes. Who said it? Craft Beer Pour said a minute ago. So many great channels here. That's what I mean. It's great the numbers, and you know as well as I do. There's some of them that have no intentions of ever coming back to see what we do ever again. I don't live in dissolution. I've said that from the get-go. But to have a foundation like you guys, I couldn't be luckier because I always got something really great, and that's a lot to say. To have this many great and you are great channels. You are very good at supporting. You put out quality content. You really put a lot in your work. I, uh, it's it's uh, it's humbling to have you as all. Well. And hello yeah. for those who just came in uh, within hiking distance while we were doing uh, unboxing. Uh, hello, hello, our uh, gracious. Holy God, that's hot. Wow. I should put some in the flask. Our gracious. Ghost. I won't take the flask, Julia. Don't worry. I promise I'll get some booze in it. I don't have any in the house right now, but I'm definitely going to get some. I don't drink often, but that flask deserves to be christened properly. Um, uh, and to, uh, we, tomorrow we're going to have within hiking distance in our guest room. <laughs> so say hello to within hiking distance. They're going to be our guests yeah. tomorrow. And they do some great work. They yes. got some um, awesome, awesome footage, these guys. Like, uh, uh, you know, we could take any channel right here right now and we've got like awesome content, like a great talk mm -hmm. and really some good content. So. And that's a quality time, you yeah. know. It always is about quality, not quantity. And I think that's what we guys get with you. Yeah. Uh, and this is what's just so amazing about it. Maybe I'm hoping it. Eric the Red will join us one day. I know he's not so big on the live stream, but I hope someday he'll want to come on. Yeah, I'll put it behind me, see? For now. Oh, you lost your uh, sticker. Yeah, we can't. Have it. Oh, don't put that back there. Oh, on the speaker? Okay, good. Yeah, because I just don't want to get that really. You are too kind. You put such a on such a heck of a stream. You make it fun to be here and make us want for the next stream. So kudos. Well, thank you so much, Camaro Time. Um, like I said, couldn't do anything. All it is is just we put up a, a link. You guys and the guests are what makes it. So. Oh, that's for yeah. sure. Without you and the guests, it wouldn't. There wouldn't be a live stream. No, uh, that's why we do it. Exactly. It's it's a fun thing to talk with other people. Look, our whole motto about making everybody basically comes here a couple times. All uh, sorry, Hyundai moderators and all these things like that. That's because you got a good. We got a great bunch of people we can do all these things with. It's a win-win for everybody. Like if you notice in here that nobody's been pressured. And there's no hounding. There's no. Uh, there's not like insulting. I mean, yes, and joking around when it's said and done. But you couldn't ask for a more responsible group, and that's amazing to get off the net because usually these things do not work this way. By any sense, yeah, story. exactly. It's, it's, it's just it's yeah. very friendly, and I always, as I, as we always say, you know, just kick up your feet and relax and have fun with us. And 
uh, everybody together. That's what it's all about. Oh, Eric, you're having a hardware problem at the moment? What's going on? Oh, no. That sucks. And guys, there's a great channel too. Like Eric came in here and uh, he's got some amazing content. He's RC stuff like that. He also does his nature series. He went in a swarm of what was it? Now I'm, I'm putting myself on the spot. Just hit yesterday in a swarm of, was it butterfly? Or no, it wasn't butterflies. What was it? Mayflies or something like that? It was really cool. Like he thinks out of the box and his night shows he's done with his uh, drones and stuff like that. Some really good stuff. And thank you, Kilos, for uh, keeping the secret till we unbox it because <laughs> I'm sure you knew what is in there. <laughs> Ball caps, you're asking us directional microphone or on it said directional right now. Like I say, we're using the road. Um, as we were never set up for live streaming, that's something else we've been saying we're gonna have to get into more is getting a proper mic. But we use the Rode Pro, which is it's a really good directional mic for uh, keeping on my camera. But since then, we've and if you want to see how it looks in detail, we undressed it in our last Tuesday Tech Talk. Yes, that's right. So I was just doing another little turn. <laughs> yeah, so. you can see how it looks inside. Old laptop. Yeah, I know. I, it, that happens. But, I mean, you know, if you ever want to come on, it's pretty much as long as if the camera works and the mic, you're good. But if not, when the time comes and you do have something set up, we'll always have a place for you here. Just let me know. Ty Speaks. We look hey. sexy, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steph. Uh, you're it, you're too kind. You were, but then you see bottle caps. Just push his voice over, modulate, uh, modulate. I will have to ban you for three hundred seconds soon. Bottle yeah. caps. I also have the mic gain up onto it because it's a three-way switch on that one. So maybe it's too. Here, let's try that for a second. Hang on, guys. I'm just going to probably my English is still butchering his ears. Whatever was there yesterday. Yeah, that's a, no, that's just bottle caps. Has been grumpy about me. About kids. There. How's this sound? Is it any better, guys? Maybe I should start talking lower. No, you talk the way you are and you never lose your accent. We've had a joke. Right. <laughs> well, yesterday was English problem. Today, high fetch, honey. Uh, I can't uh, can't change. It is what it is. Oh, um Camaro time, whenever you're ready, we'd love to have you on, my friend. Yeah, uh, oh, yes, definitely, for sure. Well, yeah. you know, there's always a time uh, for that. So. And I know what bottle caps mean is because I noticed that when we go on, uh, we go live, Xenia's voice goes up like 20 decibels since the first time we've done a live uh, live podcast. That's what Because I otherwise it's going to be really quiet. Like this. Well, no, you just talk like this. But I talk watch like the, that every what, day. Yeah, but watch the meter. See right there. So, do you want me to talk like I do every day, like in normal life? Well, uh, <laughs> well, this is my normal voice. So, if you all oh like better my than God, this oh way, lady. I can I can talk like that because Unreal. that's how I talk on Unreal. a daily basis. Unreal. We got a new person here. We got that's not my name, Gruel nineteen eighty three. Welcome, girl. Girl. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, she still has her voice high enough to nag, so don't worry, folks, that hasn't been lost. So thank you very much for correcting me. Much appreciated. Yeah, voice really has nothing that. to do with nagging. That's so. right. Well, I but don't I'm know. not the one that nags about garbage and socks and things. Brittany, so, cap, so, so nice to have you here. Thank you for coming. Great to have you tonight. <laughs> Andrew's voice is low and soothing. I kind of yeah, I know you have crush on, on Andrew. We are already got that. <laughs> so today we have Tuesday <coughs> Tech Talk for those of you who just came in. If you have any questions with regards to video editing, photo editing, yeah, um, YouTube on the videos, floor, guys. anything that comes, uh, just shoot it and we'll see. Maybe people in the chat have yep. the answer. If you have answered the questions, go ahead and suggest, uh, you know, share your knowledge. Uh, we are not here the experts. We're just here as a medium. That's right. Uh, if we have answers, we'll share ours. Uh, so go ahead and, and ask your questions. We're ready to answer. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and, and Brittany, well, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, hopefully this is a nice, relaxing place for you and you feel... Uh, 
feel at home. Welcome. Just enjoy everybody. And um, yeah. Hilo said, so do you suggest uh, us talking this way better from the ear point of view? Mm. Apparently, we sound more like uh, them getting ready for the podcast. Okay. So I just want to know the professional. Well, because uh, Neil Neil has that perfect voice oh, for yeah. doing this. Neil should yeah. work on the radio. We're live here at uh, Occasion 2976, and we're down here at the the Ford dealership today, and we got some cars going out. We got Jay Jamison here, and he wants to buy himself a Ford today. He's got that voice. Yeah, he always says it's, uh, his face is too pretty for radio, but, <laughs> uh, but it's oh, true. His God. voice is really soothing. Yeah. You should read, uh, like, you know, kids' uh, kids books before bed like voiceover take care of yourself enjoy your meal thank you so much for coming and definitely check us out on the replay my friend so good to have you here definitely thank you for stopping by and hopefully you can solve out your hardware problems so eric enjoy your meal my friend thank you so much that's very generous of you to do to leave it rolling and uh love to have you back if you can make it for sure and thanks for all the uh, kind words tonight love <laughs> i mean uh, well, we will. Uh, oh, yes, but we yeah. will have to talk about the voice pitches, though. I would like. She's to like know that. Even in like, if we go meet somebody and it's like, like, um, there's a lot of tension to her or something like that. You should see the octaves because we'll be walking up the like, just picture if it's in a building. She'd be like, okay, and then we gotta see what we're gonna say. And then and she'd, be, and she'd be like, hi, I'm Xenia. This is like, where did this come from? Like, I'm even kind of pulled back. Like, well, well, if you're not scared right away, that means like we could continue talking. So. <laughs> <laughs> Try uh, star. We like you all for you all. Don't worry about changing anything. Oh, you're so sweet. There's a channel that grew a lot in a short time too. Try star. Yes, awesome. my God, we kind of uh, watched you grow yep. in, uh, in front of our eyes. <laughs> seventy two, not that long ago, and now seven seventy two, and I'm pretty yeah. sure seventy two, seventy four, something like that. And I can't remember which. I found you in somebody's comments. And then you came and you got to meet some people and you started connecting and man, you went to town and it, good for you. You took the bull by the horns, you made it happen because it is a lot of work and you did it. Well, you see uh, like bottle caps had, I think he crossed 500 just on the 12th of uh, yeah. April, I think it was. And now you're over 1100. <laughs> Read Camaro times. Female thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Whether think so. I really it. think so. <laughs> I I think it's some something with evolution to do and the animal instincts. Ty, you're you got great content and you're that's a good growth and you know what? That's just the beginning for you. You will take off on this platform. So you're you got everything there is and uh, you're, that's a really good growth like that. And Rocky, thank you for listening to us. Uh, as we're just talking with Hilos, uh, we're trying. Um, maybe it sounds good on podcast. Yeah. So uh, it's we, actually Derek. You just said. Uh, Derek, thank <laughs> you. Uh, we have noticed that lots of people are starting to listen to us, which is great yep. because they can continue listening while they are doing their uh, things. Because life first, as we always say. Yep. Uh, so if you can listen to us, that's even better. Uh, that's, that's perfect. It's a win-win for everyone. Like I said, we're looking now at. The, um, I might start extracting all the audios and uh, clean them up a little bit. Yeah. That's I might have to be, Neil's gone, but I'm going to be asking him a couple of questions and probably Juliet as well. Yeah, David and Joe probably yes, uh, yes. Definitely. That is kind of summer, over the summer goal, so to say. As I was saying, turning them into podcasts. So I want to find, some, we keep a pretty steady uh, uh, sound each night. So I'm hoping to find some sort of rough filtering that I can just run once through uh, Adobe Audio audition and uh prep them and send them out and see how that goes i'm really interested in doing that i wasn't at first but now i am well I can always try it yeah, exactly not. have you guys ever thought about using anchor well as far as i know yeah. uh neil and annalise and so does julietta they upload it to one server which then then um uh, shares it with all of the apps and uh, platforms that have uh, podcast so that way you don't have to manually do the anything you don't uh, have to lose your audience because you're not on one uh, 
platform or the other. You definitely, you, there are tons of them, the same as Anchor, CastBox, and uh, lots of other ones that you can use. But I like their system because they just yep. upload on the server and then it automatically goes out and, and don't have to worry about it. And they have an amazing community that I'm really would love to be part of. <laughs> Steph Opal was teasing everybody, saying that she had a million subs. Well, you know what? You will soon have a million subs, and that won't be teasing. Mm -hmm. That'll be the God. It's on its truth. So kind and loving. Yep. Um. Like a funny comparison. It's the only thing I can think of, though. You're kind of like a bit like when wrestling was big. Everybody hears their own individual strong personality mm -hmm. and, and always memorable. That's what I really find cool. Uh, you're, uh, it's amazing how you guys come in, and even the short amount of time we've been doing this, how how we light up when you guys come in, and we kind of know what's not in a bad way what's coming, but it's comforting to know what kind of personalities there, what they're going to probably say. We can tell tonight if, if somebody says that one of the guests, which ones are going to react to it a certain way, mm -hmm. and that, you know. Uh, Panic DVDs is chiming in about the podcast they're doing Audacity. Uh, yeah, there's like different ways of doing it. Once again, I just like the the automatic distribution because I was so excited when we were on Heroes of Heathens uh, podcast yes. guests and and I use uh, have used like for a year and a half Castbox on my phone. Uh, it's an Android app uh, to to have like a platform to to listen to all your favorite podcasts. Uh, so after we uh, we were as guests on Helos and Heathens podcast, um, I just thought, well, I'll just search it, just you know, uh, for Googles, yeah. and there it was uh -huh. on my platform. There we were as yeah. guests. I was so excited; it, it was cool. almost like being on TV. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and I could listen it through it, you know. So and and that's why because well, you could do it individually on the platform, like we could do it right now, but then you would lose all the potential uh you know audience that are not using that platform that's right. uh the way they are using i find it, it captures a lot wider audience but we'll look into oh. that more uh for just at the beginning of all that um oh <laughs> stuff you're so sweet yeah. you're such a you're such a full of love person mm -hmm. it's it's like bursting yeah. uh it's amazing uh pad bean okay i'll we'll check that out perfect Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I really feel everybody benefits from here. And I, those, some people have said it in the past, it's that place where YouTube is kind of a grind and here's where you can truly put your feet up. And you will meet some people and check out some channels, make some new friends. And I love seeing that. Like I say, it's never the direct result of this channel in any shape or form, but it's a great byproduct. But it's not so driven. It's just like I say, like sitting at a club, uh, like kind of a comedy club and you just get to talk to the person at the table yeah. next to you and stuff like that and it kind of mingles but it's, there's no pressure this is a time where everybody can just relax enjoy always have great guests on we've had some amazing guests you know it's oh, unbelievable yeah. when you and we are having a great lineup too it's starting the june is starting to fill up and i must tell you guys i'm so excited i got some new uh, faces today yeah. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> some maybe some people even you haven't heard about but i'm so excited uh yeah uh, i'm we're trying to look for some of the people that you might have known already just to get them know even better and some of the people that you may have not heard at all yeah uh, to uh, expand the horizons of our community and, of course. and just to have some amazing interesting people on so very excited feeling up june and and so excited so excited for everything coming up and as we said on thursday it's going to be our 50th uh live i can't stream, believe which that. is uh, it's i i really can't believe that it's just because we're doing it every day almost well yeah it, it, for and that's not counting fun. yours that's not oh, counting yeah, that's yours right. it's just the, yeah. the evening ones well, that's, that's yeah so that's, that's quite crazy here. whirlpool have been this couple months and, and look at you try know. star oh that's so nice well yeah we have uh interviewed almost like i think around 30 no more than more 30, than 30. People. yeah yeah no more i gotta look it up but that uh yeah more than 30 people uh so like look at crazy. julia it was she's number 32 and already not had enough time that's how many we've done since then like enough time for yeah. sense, like from california just there was a famous panic dv uh panic uh, d uh the a word because he doesn't a want to word, yeah. yeah 
But anybody wasn't there. I'm not so superstitious. I'll say it was the night we had the, but there was bad winds that night and I'm a skeptic and so is his wife. And I said, the only time I ever felt an eerie presence when I, was when I was in Auschwitz. And no more did I say that when the power went out and we were out, we had to call and get our internet back up and running. And that when, Hey, we, there's only two times that happened it was them and biker bushcraft. If I'm not mistaken, that we. Yes. Double. Yes, that's true. That's and true. both were gracious enough to come back on. Like, I mean, how cool is that? Yes, you that's know? exactly. Here's our buddy Reese, who I hope is well and getting summer work. That's why I haven't seen him yeah, around. Yeah, he uh, just messaged us uh, yesterday. Actually, got a new. Uh, well, I would I would call it a tractor, but I mean, I call everything a tractor. So it's a 1970s tractor that he is uh, going to be rebuilding. It's quite a oh, big, cool. big rig, so to say. So good for him. Yeah, uh, he's doing well. Miss Kathy that night, that was an amazing stream with her husband on for the first time and everything else. And that, uh, Saint Otto, I mean, we've known since the beginning. Stephanie, 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 your best friend in thread was amazing. You know, there's not one of these that weren't great. Oh, yeah, that was so you know? amazing. And we know so much more about each other, yeah. I think, now, too. Uh, it is really well, ATGH travels was that long. Go, yeah. God, it's I felt like just, believe, it eh? is. It's it's just felt like we did that one. Like we go. Flies. Uzalu was great. Him and his son. When he got talking about hard time, and that's another thing too. Like how people have opened up to us, and it wasn't just about oh, uh, uh, my channel, my channel, my channel. You know, he talked about what it was like being out of work in the mid two thousands in Detroit and stuff like that. Uh, before he got hired on with the uh, railway and the. Uh, touring taste buds was amazing so gracious frog tech tips he just hit i forget he's, he's 1300 or something like that i kind of forget, or no maybe he's even higher than us i kind of forget now i remember it was uh biker bushcraft there was the night we did the two of them um oh my god or Otero. Or, or i can never pronounce it Otero, right well, I say Otero, but it's just... Me. I think it's Otero, I believe. He is a phenomenal. I just went and watched one of his videos. He did a fast drawing like in, in the time lots. Crazy, crazy. Terrence the Balloon Man. Mm, that was really cool, too. Yeah. All the balloon tricks. Yeah. Yeah. So many amazing guests. Uh, really, yeah. really, really cool. And it's just really hard. Like, yeah. Yeah, it just seems seems just we just started and look yeah it's it's hard it's a whole history here you know a lot of youtubers that you guys watch every day and support you know and and yeah there's where there was our very first live stream where i actually put a stream into it because i was a smart ass i didn't know what else to put it was the only picture i had and we Tottery, were whatever the case oh. Yeah. Now you're on top of that learning something new which is how to stream online how to edit video lighting that's a whole new ball game and that shows just how versatile different color are. wall more <laughs> hair <laughs> oh, definitely. lots I'm, more I'm hair community. Yeah. we've yeah. already been around yeah. enough to have a yeah. retro uh, look in, uh, chat room. <laughs> hey, James. oh my well, god well hello night shame hello t-frog and uh, um who did i miss larry johnson hello hello excellent <laughs> And uh, ball caps, I asked you yesterday, what is your extension in order to answer your question? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it's Tech Tuesday. We were waiting for questions. Yours yep. is a tech question. In order to be able to answer it, we'd like to know the extension of it. Is it a raw, some kind of format? And what are you using to open it? He's always that old finger wagging guy that just gives the kids a stern talking to them. <laughs> She's such a jewel. Oh my god. Nightshade, the greatest voice on that I know of any channel. I just love it. It's that's so like in your head. It's got this he's got this like 1950s horror movie narrator style to all like that. It sounds so like open and loving at the same time too, like a bit of like you know the dark side. Oh yes, that, you know? yeah. Oh, there's bottle caps coming in, my lovely. How are you this morning, dear? You know, like, it's just that I love it. I, I could listen to him for hours. Like, Teeth Dog, we're doing great. How are you doing? 
as you've seen, we're celebrating tonight a bit, plus it's Tech Tuesday, so we're celebrating hitting the 1500 mark, which we're very, very, very proud of. Uh, butterfly book, uh, Rick's nine millimeter is now on his person. <laughs> She's on fire. She's a crazy bride, my friend. <laughs> oh, my God almighty. We're having a great day. How's your day, night shame? Or evening, I should say, or... It's going well. Th yeah, thank you so much, Camaro Time. And, you know, like, you're another one. I've been watching your videos. Man, you're stepping up your game with your video and editing and stuff like that. Another guy who is, and he's not here right now because I was personally wanting to make a shutter about him, is uh, um, Resorian Buck. His videos are like jumping by light years. I, I just caught another one. He did a music video. Really cool. Who else has joined us here? Custom Cards. Hey, how are you? So good to have you here. ADJ Travels. Hey, uh, this is like, uh, what do you call it there? They have in towns their old home week, you know, where everybody comes back from away. Not that you guys aren't always here, but to have so many here right now tonight has been so cool. Because we all started out, a lot of us, at the same time. And it feels like years ago, and really it was only a couple of months. But yes, Night Shame, I know. And he is, he is a really cool guy. Like his videos, he was telling us that. He said he was really wanting to get more into them, and he's... he's the last couple, and it seems like he outdoes himself each time. Mm -hmm. uh, Rosorian Buck, when, when I went to his uh, videos, his earlier ones, because we were, like, I personally was only watching his live streams at first. And then I thought, well, I'm just going to check his uh, earlier uh, videos. Take care, Butterfly Brook. Uh, <laughs> Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> and uh, I was so surprised about the... Like it was so documental, like mm. it was so amazing. Yep. Not that his live streams are bad, they're hilarious, but it oh. just was such a different content, yep. and I just so enjoyed watching all, all of it, you know, a uh, completely different side of him. So, yeah, oh, body's gonna hit. Okay, I had to reread it for a second. Yeah, Night Shame does that great nighttime stream. I like going over sometimes. I don't always get to, but when I can, I like to get uh, to go after we're done. That's where I like to kind of just hang out, watch for a while. Butterfly, enjoy your honeymoon. Travel Odyssey says hello, hi. hello. I I got up at three in the morning. Wow. Thank you so much for coming. It's such a pleasure to have you here. As you probably heard, we're celebrating tonight. Uh, we just hit the fifteen hundred mark. Uh, it's early, but if you also have a question about tech, if there's anything we can help you with, uh, shoot. If we can't help you, there's usually somebody in the chat who can. Tyler started streaming last Sunday. Anybody new in here like Travel Odysseys? Because tonight I'm just feeling because it's a special. Usually we wait till there's person been here a couple of times, but we're going to give you the moderator, and we do that because we have such an excellent channel. You guys are all amazing. And uh, everybody's respectful of each other, so we're all in the same playing field. And I don't like seeing those gray names now and then when there's so many blue wrenches. Oh, so you're back. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you. So nice to have you here tonight. Uh, Eric the Red is back. Good to have you again. Drive safe, JJ. Yes, be safe, be well, and keep the tunes coming, my dear. Well, Caps, I answered your question, by the way. Hmm. Just FYI. Polynesian vloggers. There's another like I could say great things about all you guys. Like there's such like a gentleman, like mm -hmm. kind, funny, you know. Oh, bottle caps got something for everybody. He just he works the crowd. I love it. I love watching him in action. He's hey, listening to his old age. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, no, this is going to get him upset. So <laughs> now, you know? Yeah. Got to be careful. Your oh. favorite live stream. Oh. You guys are so kind. Thank you, Polynesian. And thank you, Hosier. Let's shut up, Andrew. What did I say? We were just reading the chat. I anyway. never said anything. And I did send the answer to your question. <laughs> it wouldn't be too busy be, being grumpy. You would have seen that. 
He's such a happy. Were you a happy child, bottle caps? <laughs> He's such a crank. It's amazing. It's amazing. Only he could pull it off. Oh, my God. So you might want to yell at Camaro while you're at it. I was busy chatting with my island. Well, coast. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was the right time yeah. for you to have the answer to your yeah. question that you asked us yesterday and today. But there you go. The answer yeah. is there. To live, in, to live in the area around Vancouver and the island, do you have to pass a cranky test or you're thrown out? <laughs> That's Thank it. you so take, much. Take, yeah, yeah, take his blue wrench away. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for so much, Night Shame, sharing on Discord. Our son is using Discord, by the way, mm. uh, a lot, maybe too much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, yeah. It reminds me of Robert T. Thank you, Night on the radio. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, so we answered Bottle Cap's question, and as yeah. he noted, today is to, uh, Tuesday Tech Talk. Just to uh, we kind of thank you so much, Night Shane. That's so kind of you. Point out. Oh, I wanted to point out our milestone and yeah. our amazing gift. Um, yeah. So, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead. I want to show this. This is from Juliet Miranda, one of our previous guests from a couple of weeks ago, who's a, a big time, uh, a big time podcaster. I think it's yes. safe to say, yeah, with a huge following. What, what's her following? The Unwritable Rand Podcast, Bourbon Soap Stories. Yep, but her numbers are pretty big, like in the podcast. Oh yes, world. my goodness, which well, so is one of the top two hundred in, in iTunes. Like, uh, yeah, her podcast is exactly it's top two hundred in iTunes. And she sent us this floss tonight. Which we are so honored to have on us hitting 1500 subs on the same day. Who could ask for a better day? Teeth Rogue is asking who we'll have on this week, hun. Well, tomorrow we're going to have within hiking distance. Uh, there are a couple uh, that are traveling across the US. Um, Don't worry about me. You read. I'm good. Uh, across the US, across uh, state um, uh, national parks. Uh, so that's a little bit of a travel chat is coming. <coughs> and uh, then on Thursday, some girly chat uh, together uh, with our celebration of 50th live stream. Yep. And Friday, we're going to have a classic value. <laughs> <laughs> Just tips and tips and tips. Yes. <laughs> Can't read your handwriting. So that's good. Because I'm the one that's organizing the calendar. <laughs> you know, there's sometimes literally I'll find out, like, you know, that after late in the afternoon who's even on. I'll finally come up. It's like, oh, by the way, who do we have on tonight? So yeah, she does a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. She's my co host, she's my secretary. My yep. wife. That's right. That's right. Your friend. My friend. That's good. My bosom buddy. Fishing with bottles is in. Hello. Hey, welcome. What's how are up? You? And thank you for congratulations. What is your guys' favorite movie? Thank you so much. This natural journey. 1500. That's right. And it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much. So my favorite movie, the question goes, uh, is Fifth <laughs> Element, Ty. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought you were asking. Somebody no, asked Ty me. was asking. Oh, what Ty was asking. Okay. Movie, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah, let's put it out to everybody. Favorite movie. Favorite movie? Uh, that's a hard one. I've always said uh, Woody Allen's Everything You Want to Know About Sex Was Afraid to Ask, the Gene Wilder scene with the sheep. Uh, it's probably one of the greatest pieces of comedy ever written. I don't know. I always like The Outsiders. Because yep. I read the book in school, and I'm, I'm not much of a reader, but I always like The Outsiders. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction is great, there. yeah. Yeah, well, I like Fifth Element, like it's all time favorite, obviously Bruce Willis, but uh, in that one, I don't like all of his movies. <laughs> Try start this. Fusha said I'm too ugly. No, I didn't say that. That you said that. <laughs> uh, we would love to have you on. I've said that numerous times. Yep. But uh, you you said that. I don't use these words. 
like that. This natural journey. Hello, hello. Uh, thank Lillard. you. Uh, You're just going through all the awesome guests. Well, then you guys are definitely on the top of that list. So. Felicia Krause, 93. Hey, thank you. thank you so much. By the way, this natural journey had a really amazing uh, Instagram post today that I shared on Twitter. Uh, she was talking about difference from goals and intentions. That instead of setting goals for the week, she's setting intentions. Intentions to be more kind, intentions to be better, more thankful instead of goals. Mm. And I thought it's such a great way of, of looking at it. I was very inspired. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I caught bottle caps comment. I shouldn't have looked at the screen. Um no, no, no. <clears throat> I've been begging for cap seven for two weeks. But since I'm the one doing the calendar and you haven't been too good lately, I don't know when is that gonna happen. <laughs> Jeez. You have a anytime you let us know, bottle cats, I'd love to have you on. Uh <laughs> I would love to have you on. Come on. Yeah. Come come on. Hey, now. you and Camaro time together. Saturday. There you go. Yeah, Maybe. you and Camaro time together. There it can be a a double hitter. Your brother's from another mother, so we'll put you on at the same time. Be like a springer thing. Yeah. Uh a lot of people like the outsiders. I, I'm surprised by that. I'm glad I mean it's a good surprise. I'm glad to see that. I don't know. I always thought it was good. Stay golden, pony boy. <laughs> What is a favorite movie for you uh, for you guys? Yeah. That's a good question. Yes, Polynesian, that would be funny. It would definitely be interesting. I'll be back in a second. Um, yeah, so Bottle Caps, did you catch your answer to your question? I, I hope you did. Yeah, it would be funny. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it would be interesting. <laughs> well, maybe you guys, we can have you on. That would be something. Uh, Philip, Fifth Element is one of your favorite as well. Watching Goldfinger. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Godfather. Well, that's a classic. My God. Yes, for sure. Um, yeah. Well, you can do that, but I, I actually suggested you a, a program uh, that you can download for free and that would convert um, convert it after you transfer it to your laptop that your supporter gave you, as I've seen before, um, that you can convert it to a more editable files if you're interested, of course. Uh, yeah, Uma Turman. I think is a chick in uh, Fifth Element, and uh, if I'm correct, then she is from uh, Ukraine, I think. So, Russian post-Soviet culture girls. Um, Eddie and a cruisers. Yeah, there's something uh, uh, heed by Andy Warhol. Yeah, oh Mil Yavovich. Yes, thank you, thank you. That's right. Yeah, I, I watched Fifth Element uh, numerous times with with uh, our middle one as well. It just so much. It's kind of like I mean, I I can't really compare it to Star Wars or Star Trek and one of those sci-fi movies uh, or shows that everybody is a fan of. Uh, but it is kind of in a way that for me, because I always looked uh, at it as a look into the future. You know, I always talk about the uh, holographic TVs we're gonna have and. Uh, flying cars, and we're almost there. Uh, you know, the holograms are up and coming, and uh, flying cars, well, almost, self-driving more, but uh, I'm sure there's going to be level highways and all that. Uh, it is kind of looking in the future. Always have been since I was little, so uh, maybe in my lifetime we will reach that, hopefully. Not the bad side of it, the good part. Um Saint Auto, hello, welcome back. Thank you so Good. much. So great to see you. We were just talking about you. Yeah. A few minutes ago, we were going back through past guests and everything else and all that. I'm glad. I'm so happy to have you here tonight. You're another one right from the beginning. Yeah. Interstellar. Yeah. Apparently, it's really good. Somebody was talking about it uh, on one of our live streams. I forget who. 
I'm not much of a movie guy anymore. It's been so hard. I fall asleep and like I would never go to a movie theater because I'd be paying like 15 bucks to have a sleep in a semi comfortable chair. Oh, it was the first movie that was filmed by IMAX video camera and it yes. actually uh, uh, had to be uh, done into eight millimeters. Yeah, it was Art, uh, Art of Morbid that was telling yeah. us about it. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah, I mean, apparently the camera weighed like a ton to make it and it cost a lot of money to be able to even to project it on the old projectors. Little side saying. note, that's one of the prides of Montreal was this is the birthplace of the IMAX camera. Well, Caps, you sent a picture of uh, a sticker in front of your face. Uh, so it's not really you. I've seen more of you mm. before that. So unless you can reveal more of that, I don't know. Travel Odyssey, thank you so much for coming. Such a pleasure. Great to connect with you. And, uh, Hope to see you again real soon. We're here every night at 8. I know it's very early for your time and that, so it's truly appreciated that you came by. Keep in contact, and we'll do the same. The Goonies is one of my faves, this natural journey says. Yeah, Goonies is just one of those ones from... Uh, we're six... Are you serious? Guys, I'm sure all of you... Is, that's the hard part now because we're such like a strong core. Yeah. But if there's anybody here who hasn't checked out St. Auto yet, yes, we don't do this very often, but there is special cases. And come on, six from 1,500? That definitely falls under special circumstances. I'd love to see them. Let's bring them up. We haven't done this in a while. Let's bring them up and see if we can get them up here. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. Saint Otto, Saint Otto. I don't know why lately I do this when I'm doing stuff. No, this natural journey, watch it like uh, a thousand times. The Goonies, yeah. <laughs> so I said that, and there's that. You know, what was one for me that I watched, I could watch when we used to have television because now we don't watch anymore television. Was that Sunday afternoon movie that was so perfect? Was uh, Castaway. I can watch that movie a thousand oh, yes. times. Oh, uh, well, Tom Hanks movies in general are just something else. I, yeah. I that just except his... at the beginning when he was trying to be a comedian. Yeah, but that after he... that, all his uh, act, yeah. acting skills are amazing. Say not oh, say not oh. Here we. Go. Okay, guys, let's go to the live subscribe. Hello, Rolly Homestead, and hello, Kirby's Fish and Grill. They're, they're already jumped up 1495 so they're only five away i just posted a link in a chat so if you haven't yet and i know that guys uh we're uh, andrew said very tight knit yep. uh here but if there are anybody out there who haven't uh checked out saying out or go and check it out they're a really amazing couple uh if you have a friend or if you're in another group or anything like that we need four guys because like i say it's harder in this channel to do this a lot of times because we all kind of are connected but if you have somebody, we, we just got to get four people. This would be a nice way to celebrate our 1500s by hitting 1500 the same day as them on here. So, yeah, yeah. Polynesian Vlogger just got uh, one go. more. Good. Thank you. Excellent. Three to go, guys. Yeah. And Ervin de Pedro has just uh, uh, managed to stop off the road, just cutting close to minutes was left. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, Steph Opal, I'm so it's so you. I cry, I, I cried, cast away. I felt so sorry for the bald thing. Because <laughs> like that too. She, 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 I remember, remember, there's that windmill on the way to with my parents. Yeah. She always felt bad that the windmill was one by itself. So that's, uh, but I do love that. I don't understand it, but I love seeing it. So. Well, I cried at the end of National uh, Lampoon's yeah. Christmas. Uh, you know, the, the all popular Christmas movie. Yes. I, I cry at the end when he puts the lights on at the very end. I, I always cry every time we watch it. <laughs> Although it's a comedy. So. 498. Go, good job. Yeah, guys, we got two more, isn't it? Thank you. One more to go, guys. One more. One more. St. Auto. St. Auto. They're a great channel, guys. A link once again. Check it out. They yeah. are so great. Uh, doing the husband lots and wife of community team. work. They yes. were guests on our channel. Uh, lots of cars, visiting mm. shows, uh, exotic cars, um, and doing community work as well. Yep. Yeah. No. Uh, they also have live streams. Uh, check them out. They're a really awesome channel. They're the true They're definition really nice of decent people. people. That's exactly what they are. Very mm -hmm. determined, very motivated. Yep. Yeah. Camera time, another says uh, another great couple, definitely yes. for sure. 
very very mm. in love yes <laughs> they are they uh, are they are high school there we go cards. 15 to one Ooh, yes. yay. look at that guys like i said we don't do this very often congratulations the, oh, eric uh, the red rc was the one to put them over excellent and then they even shot one more above yeah. it so and one one more to top it off yeah it's always good because it rolls by we hit it around supper time today yeah. so happy for you guys well deserved excellent job congratulations yeah. Yeah. i'm really happy for you guys you guys earned it he's earned it very well uh that's cool i'm so glad we got to do that here because like i say we don't do it very often but there's always an exception we did the same with rick oh yeah uh, with the bottle caps yeah. uh, yeah, a bottle uh, just a cap. couple months ago with you know. 500 and kit thousand yeah. or a couple we did a couple of people the good uh, cell life welcome good to have you hello. here oh so good to see you and rolling homestead and wild edibles in wyoming wisconsin excuse me lol i hit 1700 in here right right or good saying. job yeah that's right uh <laughs> and we love you too polynesian vlogger we do we really care about you guys i know it sounds corny and i mean i know we're not in life every day side by side but we do care and like to say sundays is the only day we don't do this and you guys do come up a lot in our conversations more than you'd ever think saying on victor uh or carol i'm not sure it, it's such a pleasure you're always welcomed here and yes, uh i'm so sure. glad that happened here you, thank you for sharing it with yes, us yes exactly <laughs> the moment uh, yeah so. we're honored so exactly and like I say, we kind of started around the same time, so that was really cool. Yes, yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, it's 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 great to see you all guys growing. Yeah. Uh, you know, us all growing at the same time. It's so amazing. There, Windy City, uh, Steve O is nine away from two hundred guys. Wow, we all definitely got to support yeah. this channel. He's mostly gaming channel, but I must say, Wind City has such an amazing sense of humor. Yeah. Like, uh, you have become uh, such a regular input of humor in our live streams that i miss when you're not here because uh, it's just quirky it's so good. i'm not surprised it says both of us uh, right now they're together that's not surprising i can just <laughs> picture them like arm in arm like hugging giving each other a kiss when they hit the, the mark <laughs> you guys are awesome yes they are so in love that's yeah. amazing after all the years being together since they were 17 yeah, 16, that's right 17, uh off and on but um uh, yeah and after being on again since you know, yep. it's, it's amazing there. You got to check them out. Oh, best friend in your thread. Welcome. Yeah, I can't hear. Let's, uh, yeah, no, I usually love it. You know, I'm doing it. Yeah. Thank you. Do here. We miss you so, so much. <laughs> well, I always feel so bad for her. I know. In the new house. Oh, oh no, no, no. We no. gotta type. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sound, though. I'm so glad to have so many amazing channels here tonight. Oh my God, this is great. It's like reunion. <laughs> it is. It is. It really is. Because it is hard, you know. And we all kind of, we all kind of came up together. But you know, life is life, and um, people are doing other stuff, and they get other channels, and they we crisscross, and you can't do everything at once. There's a newer member of the community I was watching. He's new videos. Which is a train today? I was telling her about your train videos on her. On, oh well, thank you so much. Thank you. That's much appreciated. Definitely. I really hope that Andrew gets into trains more again. The weather is being really nice for that. So. Uh... Yeah, that I do too. Because it is, what why trains was great is it's something I can do with my son, and living in the city. Why I like trains is it kind of puts me back a little bit more in that rural area. Because, <laughs> you know, it, it just gets you away from the core. We don't live right downtown. We're in the suburbs, but still, you know, it just kind of puts you back in that kind of mindset. Mm -hmm. 
I always like that. Uh, I'm going to Chicago. Oh, Tyler Terrell, you're going to Chicago in a few weeks. One of my favorite cities in the U.S. You're going to have an amazing time there. Food's incredible. Music's incredible. I think you're too young to still go in the bars, but I'm sure you'll still have lots of good music. Archie Morbid is in Chicago, by the way. Oh. If uh, you're looking for a call lab, maybe yeah. you can reach it out. <laughs> He's in Chicago? Yep. I thought he was in L.A. No, he's in Chicago. Arthur yeah. Morbid is in Chicago. Is he? Yeah, um, he's uh, living uh, a photo series, so to say, or, or streets. Uh, Gate of the Legend, so good to have you here. Sorry, I was just before he was flipping out of fun, I would have lost his name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no offense. Okay, yeah, so living photo series. Yeah, are all based from Chicago. He's uh, captioning the street photography in Chicago. I, I There, I had a complete brain fart for some reason. I was thinking, um, I was thinking uh, L.A., Oh, this weekend is Carol and uh, Victor's one-year anniversary of you reuniting. Oh. Oh, that's great, guys. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, such a great I'm gift. I'm so glad you guys are together again, and that's amazing. And what a way to celebrate it. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bottle caps pushing the burbs. Yeah, I like that. I kind of actually like the sound of that. We're not deep. We're still, like, kind of, like, 10, 15-minute radius from the downtown core. <laughs> but like not in skyscrapers or anything. Well, like we that. can see skyscrapers uh, yeah. <laughs> from the window. Yeah. So it's close enough, I guess. But... Yep. In the in the distance, but yeah, you can see the tops of yeah. and stuff like that. What I mean is, we're not right in the sprawl, which is thanks good. God. Yes. We're way too loud. Exactly. I think we can both celebrate that part. Yeah, way too crowded too. So. When I was younger, I loved it. Now I could never do that. Gear the legend. Well, we're happy to have you here tonight, and you're awesome as well. And uh, like I say, we've built such a good foundation of amazing channels. And the proof is tonight, once again, you can see all the blue wrenches. You can see all the people connected to them. These are awesome channels. Let's see. Let's, what do you think? One more, hon? We'll try. Okay. Let's try Windy City. Okay. Uh, We're gonna do... eight. Well, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. There we go. So guys, we got. Let's show the channel. Maybe we can share it back on the channel. <coughs> yeah, you want to put the link or? Oh, you're oh, okay. You're funny. You're very very funny. Where is our buddy here? Because uh, I'm too lazy to go look. W I N D. Oh, and that's not going to do it here. Okay. F there. Okay, let me see, Steve. Oh, I'm going to put out the link. So this is for Windy City, Steve O. And like I say, guys, this is just kind of a little thing to do tonight. We don't usually do it. There's lots of channels do this better than us, and it's not our. We want to bag. share the warmth. <laughs> That's right. There's the link. There's the link, and let's see if we can get him there. I just want to close the window. One ninety-two. So maybe we can get him that eight. And like I say, if you guys have already subscribed to him, if you know a friend that might like the channel, pass it along. And uh, can we? Oh, okay. Can we share the channel itself, uh, just to show? In what it's a minute, about? I put down the link. <laughs> I put it up for everybody, and now I'm going to go to it. I am going. You're a slave driver today. What's going on with you? There we go. There's the channel. That's a good idea, hun. I'm sharing the channel. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Lots of great gaming content, but lots of wit as well. He's got a very keen sense of humor. Definitely gets us cracked up lots of times here. So, And a really nice guy. So, yeah, he's eight away. If... He's really funny guy. As I said, it's uh, gaming is just a part of it. Uh, there's so much behind there. Could do a stand up comedy, Excuse I think, me. anytime. Really. Oh, ATH Travels is one away from 835. There you go. So if you haven't followed ATGH, they need one, guys. You know, everyone nice. It's nice to see people get a nice round number. Perfect to pay tourists. I'm heading towards Windy City. Ooh, Chicago. Well, there you go. 
Well, uh, so all of you, Windy City Romeoville. is in Chicago. Oh. By the way, Windy City is in Chicago already. So whoever was traveling to Chicago, there's two people already in Chicago, already up and close to collaboration. Yep. He is Violet Brew. Oh, there we go. We got one more, seven more to go. And it's 18 plus and overdue to who I play with. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yes. Oh man. And there's a great Oh Artem Orbit, you're here. Well, hey! hello. we're just talking about you. Your ears must have been burning. So yeah. have you. So who was going to travel? Terrell? Terrell. Yep. Terrell was uh, is uh going to Chicago. So we were talking that you're in Chicago and Wind City is in Chicago. And Arvin Dupe Tourist is going to Chicago next week. So guys, I smell the collaboration coming up. We got one cast, one fish. Welcome back. So great to have you here. I'll be. He says he'll be in Chicago in July. Chicago My is just goodness. such an amazing city. So much fun. Right? We used to go there for Washburn guitarists when I was working for the music company, and I'm also a bit truck driving as well. Awesome, awesome city. Uh, down the rabbit hole, travel. How are you? Hi. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Oh my God! All the great channels are here tonight, guys. This is like winning the lottery as far as channels go. Couldn't be happier. Victor wouldn't and Carol wouldn't have it any other way. And like I say, the pleasure was all ours. Uh, so glad we got uh, we got to share that with you. Share you know, the warmth. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Tonight is the epitome of what. I think we could have ever wanted for our live streams. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's so amazing. We got lots of people in here, but it's not crowded and it's just the right size with lots of great conversation. Oh, there he's up to 194. We got to get him six more. If you know anybody who you think would like to, if you're already subscribed to Windy City, Steve O, you can share it out. We're helping him out. Uh, we just got Saint Auto to 1500. So they're celebrating their 1500 the same day as us, which is so cool. Uh, what time is that Pacific ball caps asking? Sorry, I oh maybe it wasn't here. Oh, down the rabbit hole. Okay, it's talking. Okay, look at that, guys. Five more to go. Down rabbit hole is doing a video with a shout out to bottle caps. Oh, uh, uh, cool. After their travels to the coast. Yeah, I think you guys. Yeah, that's makes. Yeah, you guys are one hour difference. There we go, guys. Four more for Windy City Steve Owen. He hits his 200. How cool is that? Uh, it's always nice to see milestones like that. Oh, we're getting there. Three more to go. I get by with a little help from my friend Stephon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good life. It's clicking there. Oh, two more to go. Oh, you guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. That's right, Eric. Like I said, well, you kept me honest. <laughs> this is just kind of a little fun tonight. But you're right. Okay, guys, he's got one more to go. We can do it. Yep. We can support our friends. And I really believe that the ones in here, we don't do this very often, but I believe these are good supporters. Everybody here has had our back for a long while and come from different backgrounds. It's not all the same type of channel. And I could easily recommend any of you guys, to uh, any channel to any of you guys without any hesitation because I do believe nobody's perfect, but I do believe a high, high level of uh follow up with these with all of you you guys are the you guys are literally like you don't realize what we're saying but you guys are the cream of the crop and that's why we're so proud to have you all hello touring taste buds touring taste buds so good to have you looking forward to your uh new setup about yes. how to succeed on twitter uh it's gonna come 200 we made it Congratulations. Well done, my friend. 
There you go. Oh, that's nice, Charlie. Exactly. So there you go, sir. Well done. I'm sure you'll keep them well entertained. You definitely should look into the comedy part of your channel. I'm sure. Oh, Carol just got it. Is there? So you're 201. You're already on your way to 300 now. So let's put him back up and get him to 300. <laughs> oh. One at a time. Uh, one cast, uh, one fish. Yeah. Well, well done, Steve. -O. What was your thank you so much for coming, my friend? You take care of yourself. You have an excellent night. Always great to have you here. And you have a good one. Uh -huh. Oh, Carol's there. Oh, welcome. Hang on one second. We're going to make you going to be a moderator, too. We can't have you all gray and the husband in blue, so we're equal opportunity yeah, here. Yeah, my goodness. I think it's automatically takes off some because I think uh, Carol already had it. Oh. Now we're starting to get the requests uh, for show notes. <laughs> is, it, is tonight a show time shout out night? yeah like i say you know tonight's a bit of a special night i just can't stress enough this is something we usually don't do too often <laughs> and that's why i was waiting for somebody to say it because i do knew andrew would get that one yeah 165 away from 1000 oh but the end of july okay because i figured there was somebody in there that was going to say oh i'm 296 away from 500 or something so ATGH, you you'll have, you'll do that with your eyes closed. That's not a problem. You guys are. I'm not worried about you guys. You'll get that in no time. Yes, and there's something that is good. Like saying, uh, the Victor just said, everyone that helped, please comment on my video, my new video, so I can return the love and shout you guys out in our next live stream. See. That's what I'm saying about you guys. You guys don't take it for granted. I know you guys are pretty loyal. So, alrighty then. Oh, let's see here. Let's see. Why not? It seems we were for this is like a one night only thing. Why not? Why not? I feel like I don't know. It's, we we had a great night. We've been very lucky because of all of you guys. So you know. Uh. Lisa Crow 93. Mm. subscriber count. Okay, yeah. Felicia needs three, guys. Felicia needs three. Oh, a four, sorry. Share. Share. So there you go, guys. There's Felicia. Felicia Crow 93. Now I'm going to have to just jump over for a second and show the. That one, Felicia's here. Uh, Felicia, Felicia, every, got too many windows open. There. Felicia's channel is about lifestyle, food, and being a mother. Uh, uh, lots of videos and vlogs, <clears throat> and a con constant video release schedule, which is really great to see. Too. Yes, and guys, that's a big thing. Like the. You're if you can, you're better off to put like two videos a week or one video a week around the same time each week, the same day. It really does work well with the Google's uh, with YouTube's algorithm. The more you can keep a schedule, the better. Let's see some videos here, share for a minute. So, yeah, she's only three away. What a panic! Uh, Oh, they're on their way up this natural journey. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. Such a pleasure to have you guys. 
Yeah, like Art Morbid was saying uh, uh, while he was on our live stream, he's actually pre-scheduling. So he mm -hmm. just uh, puts all the videos at once for the week, let's say, and, yep. and just schedule the release. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about it. It just automatically goes out. You can even click in that it automatically tweets out for you. Uh, so uh, it's quite easy to do it in a batch as well. Definitely. Get into a day of editing, like, you know, oh, uh, Saturday's my editing day or whatever, and just... But I get what Gator the Legend saying it's hard to stick to a schedule. It is. I mean, because we're not doing this full time, especially if you have family, kids, other work. But if you can, it's great. But we're only human, so we just do what we can. And Gator the Legend, our news guy, today we're celebrating our 1500. Yep, that's and, right. And uh, we did a little bit of mm -hmm. unboxing today from Unreadable Rant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's usually to the tech talk, but. Um, we decided to do a little support, mm -hmm. uh, share with our friends and family, uh, share the happiness, yep. <laughs> share the celebration so everybody can celebrate. I'm right. laughing at the Central Journey. It says, cool, no problems. I'll let Joe know his Instagram is her department. It sounds figured. familiar. Yeah, yeah I figured. <laughs> sounds very, so very tell familiar. Her, yeah, she did inspire me today with uh, her post on intentions. So mm. thank you very much. So guys, Felicia needs two. So if anybody hasn't uh, checked out Felicia yet, if you can go and check her out and you like what she's doing, she puts a lot of, she's got a very good content. Uh, nice thumbnails too, but also I was like, you know, this this one catches my eye right away, especially. I love that. Party at Pusher House. Yes, that's right. That's right. We usually have Saturday night party, but we... <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, we pull it up to Tuesday. It's a celebration tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, it's yeah. funny how times progress. You know, as you're at the numbers and you're going up, because we've told people we only had 42 at the beginning of February. Yeah. And and I like I say, once again, I don't live in Technicolor. I know there's people in there. There's a good bit of them probably that will never watch anything else we ever do again. But from that, we've been able to sift out a good core that's here usually most nights. And like tonight is a perfect example of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, people that really appreciated the work that we've done with our cinematic videos and now with our live streams. So, yeah, we're gonna hit our 50th this Thursday, 50th live stream uh, with interviews. So, yep, quite uh, quite the journey has been the last couple of months. Yep, it has been. It's 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 unbelievable where things take you. We never had any plans of doing any live streams. Uh, it was completely uh, completely against it, like dead set against it. Oh, all. yeah, like, we never thought we would be doing yeah, it. Like it would bring up anger when we talk about the idea of doing it. You know? Joey, so nice oh. to see you. Thank you thank so, you so much. much, Joe. Seeing you at the beginning of the chat. Uh, thank you for coming back on. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I just tried, but it showed numbers. Wouldn't let me. Uh, did I send the wrong link or something, maybe? I just put a link. Oh, you I'll did? try again. Maybe it was a broken link. Here, I'll check it and see. No? no oh, well, we'll just try again. Yeah, yeah we missed There she goes, too. 781. Yay! There you go. <clears throat> Tonight we celebrate on our Tuesday Tech Talk. We are yeah. rolling the dice and <laughs> yeah. rolling the numbers uh, to share our well, have some fun with tonight. You. Yeah, have some fun. Hello, Doodles by Doug. Amazing child too. Uh, lots of Doodles lunch cards are amazing. Yeah, you follow this guy on Instagram as well. Uh, really cute uh, lunch cards. You know, I mean, it is a lot of work to grow on YouTube, and especially now, but. And people help along the way, but never forget it's you that put in the work. I mean, we're just like a couple of numbers here and there. They mean every number means something, but it's you guys that are putting in the work that's built up your channel. So, you know, I'm I'm always impressed, and I've always said that because YouTube is a very funny animal, and people will come here because they oh I've they've knitted for years, or they've fixed cars, or they've built things out of wood, or they race RC cars. And something in them said that wasn't enough. And they decided to take on, because uh, a lot of people don't have all the graphic design background, uh, videography. And it's a lot. It's so many hats to wear to be on YouTube. 
and you guys do it and i think it's so admirable to do that i i've seen that watching uh, one of the big youtubers jay's two cents and he's talking about he's this big tall guy that used to weigh like 500 pounds he's lost a lot of weight very kind of stern looking you know yeah. if you haven't seen him and he's sitting there talking about you know we got the new studio and we're getting the right hues and we bought the black magic camera blah 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 and it's i'm thinking it's so weird for this guy who's so into tech to be into like uh saturation you know the knowledge of saturation proper lenses when he was talking about them and everything and that's when it kind of hit me of how much it takes to be in youtube okay yeah eric makes a really good point here and i want to bring that up eric the red said i don't ever want to seem negative about the subscriber or creator situation i respect everyone's goals and motivation I just realized that my personal motivation may be somewhat different. And that is so true. And I that's why I I always like when I said tonight about him always keeping me honest. That's why. Because he's that example of somebody I actually worked to try and uh I want to say impress because it sounds really bad, but um I respect. Yeah. Like you know, it's earned. And I feel that I hope that Eric and I will be friends for years because of that. So, you know, and that's the only thing I can say. Like, in here, I feel that we've had tonight, we're a pretty good bunch of people that are in it for the long haul. And I find people who are fly by nights really get turned off by our channel. And that's a great thing. I know they're still subscribed. That's great. They brought up my numbers. I can live with that. But they're not in here in the channel wasting anybody's time. There's going to always be an odd one. You can't control it. It's a public domain. But by and far, I am... I, I want to say this because this is the honest God's truth. As much as I'm proud tonight, for instance, of the 1,500 subscribers, I'm way more proud of who came here tonight. This this is definitely the cream of the crop. And uh, that seeing you guys here always makes me feel that I know we have a place on YouTube. And that's worth as much as I appreciate. And yes, I wanted to get over a thousand. I wanted to monetize because I want to keep our business relevant. This is what keeps us coming back every day is this. And you guys are absolutely some of the best people I've met since we've started this whole run. And when you have so many good people in here and the philosophy that we've all built together here, fly-by-nights, jokers, they don't do well in here. They get very tired of it very quickly because nobody has time for their, for their garbage. So hats off to all of you. I hope you guys feel as happy to be here as we are to have you guys here. And um, thank you so much for giving us something to to be proud of. Because it's not us that do very much here. We ask people questions, they talk, and you guys keep the chat rolling. It's actually the easiest job I think we've ever had in your lives. Because it spoils sometimes, <laughs> feels like. We do all the behind the scenes stuff. Sometimes it's it is a lot of work, you know, it's like very especially guests. I, I would say I wouldn't say easy, but fulfilling. Yes, no, and I meant like once we're on the chat. That's why I said oh, after the there's chat, a lot yes. of work. Yeah, this is actually where we get to almost like things kind of go on cruise control. Yes, yeah. You know. Uh, thank you, Gator. Um, mm. you definitely have a place on YouTube. Work hard and stay positive. Deserve fifteen hundred and more. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's so everybody. nice of you to say. <clears throat> and thank uh, you uh, didn't want to interrupt you hi Susie. Uh, yes uh, welcome uh, welcome back home <laughs> and the better uh, and i oh, sorry she's the better i uh, should always have to say and doug the equal half will say so i don't put my foot too far in my mouth i know he's been here for a little bit but i didn't get a chance to really fully address him yet even. come on camaro said that he always here although he can't make every day he's still always here for us so that's very nice that's to hear as well. that's why we don't do that guys it's real life here you know and that's why we say all those things we're not like hounding and worry why not you? that's that's no your life is precious and busy and any moments you can spend with us is truly appreciated 
because I know there's lots of things going on. This is not like you don't have anything to do except come sit here every night. So anytime with us, we never take it for granted. And we glad T Throg that you gave us a chance yes. and, and checked us out. And because otherwise we would have lost you. And yep. we love having you here with us. So uh full thank you for giving us a chance. Full disclosure, until we did this, I hated live streams. I hated them with a passion. I wasn't in the not only not to to be in one, but even to watch one. I was really based in cinematic and cinematic and cinematic. So, you know, you guys gave us a chance to make something that I didn't think was possible possible. So we owe you a lot. Yes, Ajo, there has been some changes. There has been some changes. Mm -hmm. Bottle Caps was uh, giving his pointers. He misses the... I love the way they call it. I never thought that before. You got the A&W background. That was so <laughs> cool. I didn't like that. Xenia picked that color, and I was just like, oh, my God. Here goes the Europe side kicking in. And I bit my tongue and painted in anger, and but I didn't like it. But then once we put up all the pictures and stuff like that, and I kind of dampened it out some, then I really like it, and I miss it a lot. The but, vision, the vision. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and what you do have, I got to give you credit for. <laughs> Same as our bedroom. We had, uh, uh, she did all the crown moldings in uh, kind of like a little, not a red wood, more like a beech wood, really a heavier red tint, maybe like cherry. Yeah, I think it actually is called cherry. Yeah. And then she did the walls in sand, three color. But the one behind her bed, she did in this like like, a, like blue, but with a in, indigo. Indigo, indigo. Yeah. And she wanted to recreate kind of the like being at the sea, you know. So we had the yeah. beech wood, the sand, and the water and at first, I thought, like, what did I ever get myself into? It was a concept. <laughs> yeah, it was a concept. I got to say, it did work out. It were painted in anger. That's just, yeah, that's right. That's about the size of it. Because I hate painting in the best of times. And then when you got to put something on that you're just not even going for, it makes it ten times worse. Thank you, Joey. Oh, my God. Down the rabbit hole, I made my husband paint our room stop sign red. After I read Fifty Shades of Grey, we decided to change the color. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Have you seen the movies, by the way? I uh, I tried to read the first book. Uh, couldn't get past the first 20 pages. Um, I did watch the movies, though. Just in time prepping. Welcome, Hi, my hello. friend. It's so good to see you. There's such a mingle from so many different types of channels. I love that. Yeah, down the rabbit hole was earlier saying as well how nice it is to look at the earlier videos of uh, herself, you know, um, to check how, how she's growing through the time. Of course. Definitely. That's why I'm so against, like, deleting stuff as you you get more in tune with your editing and stuff like that. You never want to do that. I, I, I love going back, even the big, big YouTubers. I always do that sort by oldest. I love to see where they came from. H.O. Fifty Shades of Pusha. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, you're so amazing. Movie, yeah, well, I couldn't get past those 20 pages. It just, I, I couldn't. But uh, then I thought, well, movie maybe is better, but it wasn't. It was like a big uh, soap opera in three parts, but because I watched them all three back to back. So. <laughs> my ex sister in law made my brother watch <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> My father, when they, oh, my father, when it came out on ice, he's like, "There, there, look, Andrew, they're finally making good westerns again." And I didn't want to tell him. I, if I could have worked out any way to get him inside the studio, inside the movie theater, I would have paid big bucks just to watch the look on his face. <laughs> he was so excited. He thought it was gonna be like some sort of like Clint Eastwood thing going on. Well, it kind of was, I guess. Uh, APGH uh, just uh, finished Basement. Oh, Painted. that's always fun. Yeah. I like the stone. Uh, Eric the Red says, I like the stonework on your house, ATGH. I agree. I noticed that the other day because they were outside doing their yeah. live stream. Really cool. He was really getting the sun, too. Andrew, he had like the strip of cars. Oh, yeah. Really yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, it's a good live stream, though. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Hey, Joe says, I'm starting to smoke now. I don't know. I don't want to say congratulations right now. I'm not sure. Well, I it's because to... he's all into Fifty Shades of Pusher. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sports stick? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh my God. My brother-in-law forced our 17 <laughs> year old dad to watch Hot Tub Time Machine. Oh, it was my. super awkward <laughs> down the rabbit hole. Oh my God. Oh. Like, what did they, <laughs> what did they accept? Oh my God. <laughs> that would be interesting. Reaction video of the 17 year old uh, dad watching Hot Tub. Art of Morbid is uh, heading over to Just In Time Prepping. Yeah, he's a great channel. This guy is like, I love the way he puts it. He gets prequel prepared if you ever have to go off the grid without terrifying the memory said that night. Yeah, that was so yeah. good. And he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's such a nice guy. Down the road, the whole I married into a weird family. Yeah, I was once in that boat too. <laughs> <laughs> And yes, Angel, it is funny as hell. I agree. Yeah. I should have watched it sometime. Uh... Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. I hope all is good. Thank uh, you. Thank you for uh, letting us know. And yeah, I hope all lives well. Yeah, yeah, bottle caps. That's what I was talking about too. We're kind of the same story. <laughs> oh, just in time, nothing to thank us for. No, no, I, I like I said, guys, I I hope you get to check out everybody that's here. Cause this is, and I'll say it a thousand times, the cream of the crop. These are channels that's been in it for the long haul. They definitely keep, I see your names all the time on other people's videos, watching and following through. Yeah, and, uh, and that's the point that makes a difference. It's yep. not just numbers. That's right. It's an active support and, and long-lasting support, as we have seen with our... I mean, nobody's perfect. You're going to miss a video now and then, especially the bigger you get. Like, I've had to start using the heart things on our uh, replies because it's just, I, I just can't keep up anymore. I wish I could. And I always feel bad if I don't answer one with the other. Once in a while, I'll go back and still try to go through them again. Uh, we just do the best we can. I save a response for a while, and instead of responding to the one on ours, unless it's something I have to, I'd rather try to go and watch one of yours and put a decent response. Yes, exactly. I think uh -huh. it counts for more, too. Yeah. We're all here. Like, there was one guy I seen... His videos and I did watch it. I went by and checked, and then it was about two and a half months later. And we know what YouTube does sometimes; it unfriends you. So I watched one of his videos. It was a travel one. He did the Balkans and stuff like that. And anyways, I wrote, you know, I love what you're doing, and that I completely, utterly forgot. And by then, he had also changed his style, which I realized later. And I can understand getting a little ticked off because then he gave me this like big blast of shit about, you know, like oh you wrote this, you wrote that you like my stuff like two and months and one week ago I went back and checked and it just shows you're in it for the subs and uh, I've uh, briskly removed you and wish you a good life and it's like buddy, <laughs> take a pill. You must have been on YouTube enough by now to see, especially with the ad problems, what happened. A lot of us got got uh, you know <laughs> unsubscribed. It wasn't purposely, but yeah, he took a pill and uh, took uh, went nuts. I said, "Whatever, all good." Then, I mean, I've had it happen. I've seen people, and I can tell. Usually, you can tell if people if it's a scam stuff or it's an accident. You know. Oh my God, aren't they sweet? Saying out of Carol, saying I love you back. Oh. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> they should be like in a snow globe. You know. It's so cute amazing yeah. <clears throat> hi sinano i'm your biggest fan I... <laughs> oh you're oh, so hi. amazing hi. scotty ventures hello hey there how are and you thank you thank you yes together we're pg-13 <laughs> <laughs> oh. you guys are amazing and thank you joey thank you so much we love you too yeah and we really hope to see you this summer and Polly. Uh, yes, for sure. 
Oh, good, Eric. I'm glad you checked out. He does have a great channel, and uh, he does great call uh, shout outs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The live streams are fun. Yeah, he's just so, he's so, he's like that great uncle. Yeah. It's just around that you like, you know, as a kid, you like to go to their place, had all the cool stuff and all that, you know, and great stories and nice, easy talking. No, uh, no, he's really cool. Like, yeah, bottle caps. We had rain this afternoon and uh, it was awful. Like when we painted Friday, it was nice and dry weather, which is rare for Montreal. Yeah. Like you'd be surprised how many people don't realize that Montreal is an island and it's surrounded by the St. Lawrence River. Like, so it is always humid here, and that's why we get extreme cold and heat. In Celsius, we get in the 40s and the minus 40s here, and it's uh, welcome if you got a minute. Thank you, sir. I don't mind if I do. <laughs> It, it is quite humid here tonight, and that's kind of just the normal weather for here. Like when I lived in Saskatchewan, which is in the flat prairies, minus 35 there was kind of equal to – minus 50 there was almost like minus 35 here just because of the humidity difference. Uh, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it was supposed to be raining and bad weather all the weekend, which thankfully wasn't uh, so because it was a long weekend, so – don't mind a little bit of rain and can oh. feel lilac and i was smelling we have lilac tree right under our window so it smells really nice Toronto. so yeah i see montreal is, there's actually two islands montreal here this is the anybody who doesn't know the area this is the st lawrence seaway comes in from the atlantic ocean comes up through which eventually connects of course into lake ontario and montreal's right along that route and there's your island so you have one island that's the island of montreal the big one and then the next one is laval so it is a humid place and it's always humid in the summer here at its worst part you're in well, let's see what is uh 40 we'll say 40 i don't know 44 c at fahrenheit so yeah you know you can get up into that area you can get up in the 40s with it so in the downtown core and a really humid kind of a lot like i i uh, like uh victor and them were because the, you guys are victor you and carol are in atlanta right because it'd be kind of like there really is 420? You be 420. Oh, hey. Thank you so much. So good to have you here. Awesome. Miss you, train guys. Keith was asking if uh, you will be showing more of our area. I. You can see some of Montreal in the videos, uh, Montreal slow mo and uh, yep. busted out uh, 80s inspired video. Uh, there's a few shorter ones as well in our cinematic videos. So um, I want to shoot more Montreal this time. We're going to be back and forth because, like, like we say, inheriting the house and that, and it's like 850 kilometers from here. So we're going to be. Uh, Kind of back and forth, but I would like to get more of Montreal downtown this summer. That's kind of something I'd really like to do. Eric, uh, the red, yeah, YouTube uh, balance is a word of, yep. the, of the month. Uh, ever since I watched uh, HOE's um, video on balance, not the newest one, but the one before that, I think I've been hearing it all the time and thinking about it as well. So definitely your loved ones are more important than YouTube. Life first, as we say. Um just in time prepping. It. What's uh? Is, does he have a channel? Your friend that makes the knives, and uh, welcome Erica Mullins. Thank you so much for coming uh, in tonight. Thank you. Yeah, we're celebrating. They met so, when they lived in Atlanta, sixty-six oh, okay. miles north in Appalachia. Appalachian. Appalachian. Appalachian yep. foothills. See, that's another thing people don't realize is the Appalachians run right through all the way up all the way up the eastern seaboard oh, uh, let's see here let's see i can maybe find try and find some of the mountains show you 
So this is okay. There, so you give everybody there's Atlanta running all the way up through Virginia and everywhere, all up through Vermont. And the mountains run along the border of uh, Quebec and Maine. See, a lot of Montreal is not very far from Vermont and the and uh, New York. There's Plattsburgh, New York, and uh, Champlain, New York, is from Montreal. Is literally like once you're off the island, you're looking about forty five minutes to the border, about. Um, but the mountains, uh, on the topographical map, I guess, uh, satellite. I hate the satellite view of this so much. So crappy. The mountains run right up into here where I'm from originally. And you have, these are all connections to the Appalachian Mountains. Smoky Mountains, depending on where you live, what you call them. But it's all in the same run, pretty much. As you notice in Quebec, every name starts with Saint. So badly that that's what they were talking about. They were actually talking about removing them about 10 years ago. Because if you open an atlas... 96% of all the towns in Quebec were under S. Um, here is some, uh, if anybody hasn't seen, this is kind of like looking. There's one mountain in Montreal, Mount Royal. It's in the center, and this is looking down at the downtown core. This is actually some really nice pictures somebody took here. That's a real morning ones. Camaro, is it a Google Earth you're talking about? Here's Montreal from the old port looking across. It's a very condensed city, kind of like Boston. Uh, that's some of the new things. Oh, no, okay, that's from the East End looking in. That's the Molson Breweries, one of the oldest breweries, I think, in North America, if I'm not mistaken, not just Canada, uh, where Labatt's and the products are made. More from the waterfront. Like I said, that's the St. Lawrence uh, River that's connected. Because Montreal is one of the oldest cities in North America, too, because it was one of the first settled for uh, trading, fur trading. Mm, yes, we have used some of it. At the, I, I know Andrew have used some of it from Google Earth. Um, um, the question is, I don't know how, how copyright-free is it. Um, I'm sure a cap, screen Can capture. Can you actually capture the footage through? From Google Earth. From Google Earth, yes, but you got to keep the name in of Google's, and you got to be very careful because uh, if you're using, if you watch those video one hour of trains, you'll see that I use it as it jumps from yes, place to place. I'll, I'll try to find it, post a video. Here, I'll, I'll just put a clip of it. Yeah, you can post it and I'll show a clip of it. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, so just bear with us for one second, guys. We'll bring that up uh, right away. My channel. Videos. I hope I don't hit myself with a copyright strike. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, we got so many live streams. It takes so it used to like be no time to find a video, and now yeah, here I want to do this on share screen. So just bear with me for a second. Is it the two days of freight train? I got it. I uh. Oh, I'm using the Foggy Mount one. Hang on one second. Yeah. That's right. I forgot. Uh, two days of freight trains. Yeah. Yeah, I'll open this up. Give a good view. Okay. This out of the way. on high res for now just 720 just so it's easier to see so you see google earth has got to be there at all times you can't cut that out or you can be hit with a copyright strike now you see here because this is something i didn't know uh right here you can see all these words changing at the bottom those have to be in as well and why because the satellite maps are made up out of mul from multiple sources and I'm going to play it now and just watch you and see them quickly changing. That's because as they're stitched together, it's jumping through all the ones who made them. So it's going to be right around here, down at the bottom, the little text. Mm -hmm. 
here. See? You've got to keep all these in here. You can't delete any of them. I'm just looking for the next stop. Just do one more. See there, once again, you can see it down here, 2001. Now, this one was all on the Google one, but sometimes it'll have three or four just as it's jumping past all the maps, so. So, yeah, because I, I had to read up on it for doing that, and that's exactly what was Google's uh, statement onto it. Uh Windy City is uh, suggesting using Crazy Train by Aussie. <laughs> yeah, I know. I would, you'd, I would love to. I almost want to make a secondary channel where I can just use copyright music without any recourse like that. I mean, if they take it down, they take it down. Art Morbid liked the, the, the music that you used in this one. Very energetic. Oh, uh, thank you, yeah, thank Ben. You. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so glad you're here, Ben. Yes. Uh, it's been a couple of days. So great. Benjamin is the guy with the style, my He's the one who makes us all look good, inspires us to smell good, look good, feel good. Yeah, yeah, I've been trying to get him on to talk about the style for men for the summer. That uh, I see. Um, uh, sorry, just in time prepping was saying, oh, cool, about uh, the train one. That was a trip I took this summer because my son and I, of course, film a lot of trains in Montreal together. That's our pastime. And... Uh, we uh, we were always wondering if what would like because we get some of course coming in mostly to Montreal, what it would look like to go to Ontario and do it there, and let's see so Montreal, and oh did you have to say something huh? I'm just posting a link to Montreal slow mo video. I uh, I think um, um, somebody asked about the neighborhood. Oh, okay, yeah, that would be yeah, a good one so to show. Yeah, the, so there's a video just to check out a good way of seeing where we are. Uh, well, Cap saying that you should buy a drone. Violet got one, Rabbit got one, I got one. You're like a chicken with its wings clipped. We can't <laughs> fly them in Montreal, so. But I, I would, I'll eventually get one. I, I do want to get one. That's It's in the plans. It's just some other stuff we need to get before it, but it is coming. Yeah, more in the country for the summer probably would be a good idea, the small one. So this, Scott, uh, hello. so this is where we did our two days of trains. My son and I, we decided at 9 o'clock at night, and we left at 4 in the morning. And we drove to, uh, like, across uh, the rest of Quebec, and we started at the Ontario border, which is right around here. And what we did was just use Google Street View, wherever we looked up and seen where the railway passed, and we went all in these secondary roads and had no plans and just for two days would just kind of camp on the side of them for an hour or two. It is a busy uh, stretch for trains, especially that was the CN line. The CP is further up and not as busy. And I think they said usually about 20, 20 main line trains plus then another maybe 14 to 18 pass as well through daylight hours. And yeah, we would just go and check all these little intersections in the middle of nowhere and we filmed them. And then we went all the way to Kingston, Ontario which is 250 kilometers. That must be, what, about 175 miles or something. And you're halfway to Toronto. And then we slept in our car that night in a McDonald's restaurant and then filmed on the way back. So, yeah, it's an hour of just... It's trains, but you also get to see some uh, back rural scenery of uh, eastern Ontario, which was kind of cool. I always wanted to do, like, one of those bigger epic videos. As you can see here, once again, you're traveling right along the Ontario border is, is separated by the, the St. Lawrence River. So one side is New York and the other side is uh, Ontario. This is, people don't realize that, but between Toronto and Montreal is the most heavily trucked highway in all of North America because of its connecting corridor and because of the, because of uh, the, the uh, the Rust Belt, of course, Detroit, and uh, Windsor, Ontario. 
there's more trucks that travel between Montreal and Toronto than anywhere else. And it's also the most truck hijackings in North America is there. And it does happen a lot. And they have such an underground system. They can even get rid of like toilet paper, shingles, whatever they take from the, whatever they steal from the truck, they got a market for it. So just a little bit of side information. Can I ask a question from Camaro? Yes. <laughs> he asked, what did you use to capture uh, the, the video? Like, how did you capture it? The, it video, the video for the, the maps? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, I just use Google Earth maps uh, in the uh, capture software. You could so use, capture. Yeah. It's built right into it. And it works good. So there was no need for a third party on that one. So what you can cross into the U.S. without knowing, huh? Well, yeah, if you're floating around the water, you never know, or vice versa. It wouldn't be so hard. So it's, it's a very fun like Rick from the corn life. Yes, that's right. You want to tell a story? No. Go ahead. I'm, I'm updating. Oh. Yeah, I'll... Okay, yeah, I know Rick uh, made a mistake at one time and uh, was looking for the nearest uh, Walmart and didn't realize that it was taking him across the border where then he got held for a couple hours, so. Yep. Um, I, was too... I just was uh, looking up. Uh, that's how I all was talking about using the copyright-free uh, music and sometimes using the copyright music and then just monetization goes to the holder. But there are lots of sites and we have covered it in a couple of our Tuesday Tech Talks. Um, people suggesting their sites that they've been using. Uh, we have been using uh, a couple other ones like um, I will I will try to find the links right now. Here, I got some here. You. I'll, I, you can tell me if they're the ones. I got them bookmarked if you want. Uh, we can share them with them. So marks uh, audio sources i guess the first one is audio library youtube yeah they're using that already yep so anybody who else doesn't know about that one is provided by youtube and you can search by here sorry uh you can see by instrument by mood by genre and a lot of the other sites that are out there you can they also post here as well so it's kind of a good place to start uh bookmarks here's some other ones um free sfx uh is good and uh purple music uh com as well is good i don't think i have that one i don't believe i'm here uh this guy here too he does uh, a lot of singing and stuff like that it's all his own work i don't know if i've used any yet i also just bookmarked them in case. i haven't seen this one either that's pretty cool He's got his, his music's kind of I don't want to play it right now even though it is copyright free I don't want to just in case something's changed. Uh, this one here too. Did you? Uh, but always make sure guys to check the permissions on them because some of them you got to credit, some of them you don't have to. Some of them you don't have to bookmark. I believe this one you can even download like the a lot of them put up like all the parts to the music. So if you had uh, the only you want to strip the vocals out or build your own version of it. Uh, because I mean, it's really you know you put the work into the video. You don't want the monetization go to the copyright. There, there's a great example, guys, of what happens sometimes. That's why you always got to double check your music. Now you see this here one, and that's why I always double check. It's called uh, uh, no copyright music, and look where it ended up. This account has been terminated due to multiple or severe violation of YouTube's policy against spam. Except we Right away, you pretty much know it was because of copyright infringement. Yeah, and just gonna, because uh, Gator the Legend also saying that there's lots of, uh, of smaller YouTubers that are happy to let you yes. use their music, but uh, get that in writing, so to say. Yep. Ask them and get the permission, because as Andrew just showed, you never know. It's better to be safe than sorry. You don't want a video that takes off and does so well, and then all of a sudden it's yanked. That's not fun, or you have no more rights to it. And there are definitely options out there, so you don't have to lose your monetization. Yep. And there is good music out there. And you know what? If you're doing good with it, you can also pay for it too. There's sites you can join by the year, like Audio Blocks and stuff like that. That um, something that I would like to. Oh, Susie's. 
And oh, so you're taking off, Susie. Well, thank you so much for coming, dear. Always such a pleasure to have you and the hubby here. Have a good rest. Yes. And thank you once again. Yes, I really, really do appreciate it. And you also can just uh, search for Creative Commons music on Google. Yep. Um, the easiest probably way, maybe it's not going to have the biggest range, but it's going to give you a little bit of a mix with what you already have. Um, Creative Commons has different licenses on it. Sometimes you have to have attribution. Sometimes you can just use it as it is. Uh, usually it's attached to the file and you can see what you have to do with it, but it's free. Art Morbid's planning a live oh, stream right. at noon. Um, We're going to do a shout out to Panic D. That's cool. Yeah. And just in time, uh, Prepping is going to have live stream tomorrow at 10 instead of 9. So if, for those of you who are checking that out, uh, it's at 10 o'clock tomorrow, not at 9. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, Steph, you you are amazing. You're going to you're gonna go, it's gonna go to our heads here. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so You've been sweet. so sweet. Thank you so much for coming again today. Mm. Thank you, Dexter Tang. Yeah. Thank you so much. Man, he was fish. I watched your video today, the new one you put up. Those things were monsters, man. Barely could fit in the net. Crazy. I loved it. Lots of action. Uh what uh what what derpy dude 57 welcome back good to have you again sorry i know i'm probably butchering that name it's one of those ones i like stutter just worrying about pronouncing it <laughs> it's a lot of d's there <laughs> yes it's like a tongue twister yes that's right <laughs> needs dashes between the syllables to make it easier for us yeah manu fish salut salut comment ça va ce soir no. Ben uh, just uh, saw a Joey's video you <laughs> using yeah. our intro. Wasn't that cool? He did such a go ahead. Job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, he did a pro proper crediting. He yep. asked us the permission. So. Yep. <laughs> no, it was definitely done with nothing but class. It was an honor. To yes, do definitely. It. Thank you so much. It is the one we call boss. Wait, c'est le matin pour toi. It's the morning for him. That's his. I thought he was in Quebec, but he actually is in France. I haven't seen many fishing channels from France. Then again, I haven't gone looking too much, so that was kind of cool. That's how Rogue. Are you familiar with YouTube music service that lets you stream the music and it's copyright music, but you don't own the right? Uh, well, okay, but do you get... No, I'm not, personally, are you? Mm. But no. do you get to keep the money? Take care, Carol. Thank you so much for coming. Such a pleasure. Just in time prepping. We'll definitely try to catch your live stream. We got some guys coming in to do some work tomorrow, and Xenia's got a doctor's appointment. But we so definitely. Uh, can you post one more time what time it's at, please? Think share. Steph Oppel is a singer. Uh, she has a Facebook page uh, that is uh, mostly uh, made and supervised by her fans. Um, she is actually. Uh, very good. Singer. Okay. Say goodbye to Carol. Victor, you're two. You're you're uh, you're 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 uh, you. The two of you are just absolutely amazing. And thanks once again, guys, for sharing tonight with your 15 hour. I'm glad we could do that here. That was a lot of fun. Love birds. Yeah, and you guys take care of yourselves. Be good. Yeah, if you got to know something more, that's how I roll. Let us know too. It's interesting. I would rather, I would want to know how it works with uh, with monetization, though. Mm -hmm. But uh, let us know. I'm always weary of that stuff. I just always triple check it. It's just to be uh, just to be careful. That's all. Triple check it with uh, with YouTube if you're yeah. not sure. Ten a.m. tomorrow only. Usually nine a.m. till noon. Uh, what time zone are you in? Just in time. Is it Eastern? Central, I think. Central? Oh, okay. Not sure. I'm asking. Nope. Uh, I think should, this is BS. That the aren't back at 1500. I'm tweeting this. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, we dropped? Yeah. We did? Two. 
Oh, that happened. Oh, well, thank you so much for tweeting that out. I appreciate that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's so cool of you. Thank you so much. Oh, your mountain time? Okay, so it's, yeah, two hours difference from us, so two hours behind. Excellent, excellent. We will do our best to see it, my friend. Yes, St. Otto, that was fun. Like I say, it's just like, you know, it's kind of like celebrating the, the journey together, so. You're very welcome, Carol. You guys are always welcomed here, and it was our pleasure. You guys have a fantastic night. Congratulations once again. <clears throat> I, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> no, I, I hear. I know. I understand. <laughs> the coffee. Well, the last couple of days have been so crazy that. Oh. Coffee is just going to start losing the right temperature. Oh, it's ice cold here. <laughs> mm. It's all mine? No, it's good. It's sure. like, yeah. I'm Still got steam coming out of it. But it's cold. not that cold. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thing Share. Much yeah. appreciated. It was really good to have you on. Yes. Uh, very and that, and that was, smart conversation. And that was very nice of you to do as well. Thank you so much. You know, it's amazing. It's the more you get into it, the more you just realize that shift. Like, before that used to crush me. Like, I would never say we hit, like, a 1,000 until we – what well, we did, we did live, but <clears throat> I'd never say we hit 700 until we were, like, 718, just to make sure even if there was a decent drop that we still kind of covered ourselves. <laughs> Stink guy said she's losing her voice. See, ball cups got my back. Well, he's been really mean today about how I look and everything, so I'm not even replying to him. Uh, oh. You're so funny. <laughs> you guys cracked me up. Oh, you got a new computer, Doug. I remember you were talking about what did you get in the end? See, that's why I like to get a drone, but that's the first thing I got to do. I got to put together a new computer. That's what I really, really desperately need. Because editing there is getting to be. Well, thank you, Benjamin. And coming from you, that's a real compliment. So, see that? Thank you so much. Mm. Yes, exactly. Thank you. The man of style. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Win City. I want to just thank Push Studio so much for the step ladder on shoutouts and reaching 200 subs. Oh. And so I bid you all good night. Gotta get my stream ready for tonight. Yes, you're you're Thanks always so, coming right before yours. Yes, so thank you. How, uh, we really do appreciate that. I'm so glad you got to hit 200. Well deserved, my friend. And knock them dead tonight in the live stream. You got this. Oh, that's how I roll. Um, Mother-in-law just flew back <coughs> to the mainland, so apparently volcanic ash doesn't impact flying brooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh that's my too goodness. funny. <laughs> and there, uh, Polynesian, that's okay. She is pretty wife to me. So, Thank you. <laughs> they are always very sweet. This is bottle caps. Well, last night you were so beautiful. Your hair was perfect. Your makeup was perfect. You weren't nice last night either. <laughs> um. Yeah, Doodles, I'm, Doug, I mean, I'm doing the same thing as you right now. I'm playing with PC uh, part picker all the time, trying to come up with something. I'm almost definitely going Ryzen. Uh, just because of the price point for the amount of cores and threads. Video cards, I'm still kind of tossed up on Joe. I think I'll scale back and probably go with a 1070 or something like that. I want to go. If I could swing it right now, I'd like to get a 1080 Ti, but prices are just too high. I can't believe what they're charging for RAM either right now. There, Steph Opal said you look beautiful. Thank you, Steph. Or maybe it meant me. I don't know. Thank you anyway. For both of us. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys are all getting to know each other's channels and all that. That's, uh, that's, uh, you'll always have good followers here. You'll not get ripped off. 
I was looking up these new hybrid CPU GPU gaming systems. Yeah, see, the only thing is for video editing, I the, the they're okay because a lot of the uh, thirty-two bit plugins for Premiere and that you can offload them on the GPU now. But I'm like you, I love them. I think I'm going to switch over our home uh, home entertainment system. I'm going to try to put in like a twenty-seven hundred X or something like that because they are cool. The one I have in here in the living room is actually an AMD from 2010, I think it was. We built it in Saskatchewan. Yeah. It's that's, still yes, running. Yes, that's... Uh, <laughs> Art Morbid is saying that you're looking beautiful, Andrew. Oh, thank you. I do my best. I, I, I feel beautiful tonight. <laughs> that's good. And uh, Philip Cockburn says, more wife you, of course. I think Philip hates me. <laughs> just trying to just wants me out of the picture completely. Just to step aside. I'll just go sit on the other couch here. <laughs> I'll not ruin the view. T Strong, uh, live first. I actually I was posting a video for Art of you. Mormon. I'm not worried about it at all. I, I was laughing. I love it. This is cracking me up. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, that's how I roll at bottle caps. You are in the doghouse. <laughs> Oh, Terrell gave me a thumbs up. Yay! The original. She has been here right from the get go. It's amazing. And now it, it would, it, she's like one or two times hasn't been here. It's been like the weirdest feeling. It's almost like, Mommy, Mommy. <laughs> she takes care of everything without even saying a word. Exactly. I got a switch for the uh, characters. So it's, uh, it's fun coming on here during lives. Thanks to you for tonight using the screen. Thanks, Cher. Always a pleasure. So great to have you here. And uh, hope to see you again soon. You take care of that sore throat. I know what you mean. I'm thinking I'm coming down with a, with a cold mm, myself. Some tea with a ginger mm. and, and nice good sleep. Hope you feel better. And mm -hmm. uh, Wiseman Creek Studios, hello. Hey, how are you? Welcome. Welcome to our kind of, it was tech night, but more of a celebration night. Uh, we hit 1,500, and then we had St. Ottawa, Victor and Carol, who they hit 1,500. Yeah. And then we had uh, mm. Steve-O hit 200, and who else? I'm forgetting one. But, yeah. Uh, I have the worst memory. The family channel. Of... Uh, uh, Felicia. Yeah. Felicia, Felicia hit 180, and yeah, so we had some fun. Uh, uh, where was it? Phil Cockrum. No, uh, Cockrum. No, of course not, Andrew. I love you both. And we love you too. I know that you're you're a stand up guy. You've given us some of the best written compliments we've ever had on here, and that's saying a lot because we've had some great ones. And yours are quite quite memorable. They meant a, they mean a lot. I should say not meant. Any, uh... <laughs> that's how I roll bottle caps. I think you might need a different place to stay during Grand Prix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are all so funny. Thank you, Philip. Uh, <laughs> that's right, Doug. It was a crazy day. It's, it's uh, well, now we're 1498. So if anybody hasn't joined us yet, please feel free if they like what we do. Uh, I like to give Xenny a boost when you guys hang. I know that, Philip. I know, I know. And she appreciates it. I do. Yeah. You look so stone faced. Like, God, it's like you're playing poker. Well, I actually just talked to Philip already. I'm about to thank you for, uh, for double checking on him. It's really much appreciated. Uh, thank you for being on my side of the ditch. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> Dexter! I'm 24 away from 500. Well, that's good, my friend. Hey, if you haven't checked out Dexter yet, it's got some awesome fishing from the Philippines. Uh, I see him a lot in the other fishing channels. Everybody seems to. You're kind of like a bit of a star, aren't you? Everybody likes you in there. I see that all the time. Every time you come into any of the fishing uh, streams or anything, so I love that. Thank you, Steph. Um, 
Now, guys, if you are more familiar with our live streams, I would suggest going and checking out our cinematic videos as well. I'm just going to be posting a link to our playlist. I would appreciate that. If the... you can check it out, just to have a different perspective on what Jay Andrew is doing with his videos. Thanks, hon. Yeah, because I love the live streams. I wouldn't want to do it any other way than what we're doing tonight with you guys. But I... That is my passion. Was the cinematic ones? It's mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of what brought everything together. And show a couple little clips. I'm sure you guys must have seen them mostly already. But this was a, this is like talking about making a, an accident, and making something out of it. I was leaving my sister's place. <clears throat> she lives on the south shore, and I accidentally forgot the. With the camera uh, I had it in slow-mo by accident so I just I ended up making one of those I always love those 70 cop shows like streets of San Francisco and everything so yeah I was just playing around with it and took the slow-mo and tried to find a way to make it work They're building a new bridge right beside us when they had just started. Now there's piers everywhere. Historical now. Yeah. Make a video of that now. That's true. Before and after. Yeah, like old cops show. <clears throat> Dexter says, "Got to brush up their B-roll skills." B-roll is amazing. Just shoot everything everywhere. Uh, shoot it from different angles. Five seconds is a long show. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, thank you. I like the music too. It's kind of fun. Like I say, it's. Uh, it's that reminded me of those 70s cop shows and that kind of a little funky back when these had that kind of jazz sound to it. Morgan Hawkins, hi, and thank you. And Polynesian, uh, bye, and have a good night. Be safe yes. there. Yes. Thank you so, so much for coming. <laughs> God, we've had a good turnout tonight. So many ones, like all of the... Yeah, like homecoming. Yeah, uh, really, uh, really, it felt like that, and really amazing for our special, special night. <laughs> it was. Yeah. We love you too, Polynesian. You take care of yourself. Yes, Steph, uh, Starsky and Hutch, exactly that kind of feeling like that. So, mm -hmm. you know, Montreal's a really cool city, and it's it's got that European vibe. You, it's it's not. There's always that hint of it. I wouldn't say European, but it's always got that splash of yeah, it going on. Yeah, definitely. Definitely a taste of it for sure. You know, it's quite a liberal city. And anybody who's not familiar with Canada in general, I mean, Canada is kind of a, I mean, it's a pretty liberal country in general. Even our conservative party would be more comparable to the Democratic Party, the Democrats of the states. Uh, and Montreal is even more liberal. Like, uh, the Queen Elizabeth Hotel, a lot of people don't know that in downtown Montreal is still there. That is where uh, 
Oh my God! I'm like, John Lennon recorded uh, "Give Peace a Chance." That's where the love in happened because he wasn't allowed in the states. So the, the hotel room is still there where they recorded it, and uh, you can see the videos from the, the old black and whites. Um, and also as a trend center too, because a lot of bands since the time of the Beatles, Montreal was a testing ground before European bands could make it in the states. So a lot of them would come in and play Montreal, and if they did well in Montreal, they would kind of make their way down into New York and that. But if they didn't do well, they kind of sent them packing. So a lot of the U.S. Um, uh, music producers and stuff like that used Montreal as that kind of testing ground because it's kind of in the middle between Europe and uh, the rest of North America. Yeah, definitely has a European taste. Even sure. a lot of the music and artists that came from here, like a lot of people don't know William Shatner. Uh, is from Montreal. Uh, Leonard Cohen is from Montreal. Well, a lot of people don't know that actually the first landing in North America by Beatles was in St. John's, Newfoundland. Yep, that's right. Because they had to refuel. And there were actually a couple of tens of, uh, of uh, fans uh, that were lucky enough to see them for the first time. And that must have been so amazing. Like, I know now to be able yeah. to tell that story of such a place <laughs> to see the Beatles, you know. Weekend is from Canada. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot of Drake. Uh, Drake. Drake is from Canada. Jim Carrey. I mean, you can start naming them off. It's uh, Leslie Nielsen was from Canada. Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson. Uh, Nelly Furtado. Nelly Furtado. Steppenwolf. Born to be Wild. One of the greatest mm -hmm. uh, American road songs of all time was actually a band from Manitoba. Brian Adams. Brian Adams. Uh, God Almighty! What's oh, her name? In the there's movie? so many. Celine Dion. <laughs> Even David Foster and Bob Rock. Ooh. Yeah, we must have moved or something. Uh, Bob Rock, who produced Motley Crue, uh, Metallica's uh, Black Album, and all those ones. Uh, David Foster, who produced Celine Dion, all uh, Barbara Streisand, and all them. Some of the we tend to bring a lot of A-lists. Uh, Alan. Thick, uh, yeah, uh, Ryan Gosling and yeah. Ryan uh, Reynolds, Justin Bieber, of course, for Nickelback. Sure. I mean, I know they get a bad rep now, but I mean, they they um, a lot of trends. There's like uh, Men Without Hats, you remember them? We can dance if we want to, we can leave your friends. They were a Canadian, like those sounds were all kind of once again because of that European mix, they got this, those things were kind of out of their time. The Kids in the Hall was a great example of that. Trailer Park Boys. That's right, Philip. We're doing Proud Canada. <laughs> Lots of people don't know that. I think even yeah. those who live in Canada. Blackstar, hi. Hey. Nice to see you on. So good to have you. Oh, Nickelback is from Down the Rabbit Hole's hometown. Yes, that's right. Your band opened for them way back in the day. Hey, girl, <laughs> where where were you with this information on our live stream? <clears throat> Riverbend Longbows, hey, how are you? You know, Nickelback. I mean, yeah, they got a formula. I don't know. Uh, they kind of got a. They kind of got pegged pretty hard for it. I think it was. They kind of got hit with the last of the rock sound, like the. Like Winger and all them got coming out of the eighties, you know, they're just the wrong time, wrong place. Uh, I don't know. I was, I thought, I found it a bit unfair, not because they're Canadian, just the way they kind of, they paid you three hundred bucks. That's so cool. I have, a, I met Daniel Adair and I met the, the creator. There, they were together. They're at the Nam show one time. Daniel Adair, he worked in a drum studio. I, uh, in Vancouver, uh, Long and McQuaid uh, Music Store. Down the rabbit hole, do you have any pictures from that time or a video? That would be interesting to see. And bottle caps, serial killers and criminals are not the good part of Canadian pride, I would Unreal. Philip's going to leave if we talk about nickel crop. Okay, so we'll then There's put them on the back There's an example of that. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> question, why? That's the answer. That's so funny. Yeah, that's right. Steppenwolf was Canadian. But that's pretty cool, though. Yeah. That's so amazing. That is really cool. What was the name of your band? And what did you play in it? 
How did we skip this information? <laughs> I'm trying to think of who all there's so like I say like Jim Carrey all those guys uh, uh Norm Macdonald another Canadian uh, there was a lot of them and here they had nothing to lose because there was no money in Canada at the time for the arts like uh, so they had all the time to put in their craft because they didn't think they were going to go very far with it anyway so it uh, gave them a chance to experiment and stuff like that ice candy. <laughs> Really? I love that. It's like cher uh, cherry pop uh, ice candy. <laughs> That's kind of good. Word. You kind of got like a new wave sound to it. Wow. You played bass and was the lead singer. Bass. Uh, sounds like they play the fish. Bass, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Norm MacDonald. Yes, he's the best. He is yeah. awesome. Who said that? Uh, Juliet. I agree. One of the greatest uh, comedians in a long, long time. So brave. Stephanie. Yeah. Uh, kids in a hall. Yeah. Cabbage for a head and chicken. Well, chicken lady is a classic. Um, uh, Stephanie Opal said that? Yeah. Virgin Cummings from Bottle Yes, that's right. Hair Nation is a, one of kids' favorite channels, uh, Doug was saying. Gordon Lightfoot. Yeah. Wrote one of the most iconic songs I think out of the seven. Joni Mitchell, another one. Your friend managed them. At what time? Stephanie's friend managed Kids in the Hall. Oh, really? Yeah, because uh, Andrew have met them. I, uh, you were just sharing the picture. I was uh, that one of the Kids in the Hall. Yeah, when she said, it. "Oh, just trying to." Killer dwarfs. Yeah. Killer Dwarves, yes. We stand alone. And they all had the name, last name Dwarf. Funny thing about Killer Dwarfs, they're under Toronto. They did okay in Canada. They went to the States. They played a lot of clubs, except a DJ in Houston found them, started playing them a heavy rotation. They became like superstars in Texas. Mm. So they play all these little clubs working their way down. Then they play stadiums in Texas, and they go back to little clubs on their way back. Uh, Stephanie Opal, though, was saying? Yeah. Here's Stephanie. There's me at the kids in the hall holding up. Uh... That was their backstage when they first started again after being uh, after they disbanded for so many years. This was at the uh, around the time of the Just for Laughs festival. As you can see, we had quite a night there. <laughs> That was probably the craziest backstage I've actually ever been to. Philip has played with Randy many times. R Randy. Philip. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Thank you, Arthur Marbid. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. And thank you for coming. Uh, he was born in Montreal. Uh, what's his name? He was the only one I think of the kids in the hall. Uh, never remember his name. Uh, Kevin McDonald, yes. Funny story is my aunt who passed away, she used to babysit him years ago. Oh. If I lived across the hallway from him. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I yeah. never know. Canadian bacon, yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. The movie and the food. <laughs> yeah, Kevin is... Every one of them is the same as they... Uh, as their um, their personas were in Kids in the Hall. Down the rabbit hole said I met Kevin when he performed at an impromptu club and he was really <laughs> nice. That's how I roll. We will send you back all the Canadian geese. You will send us ketchup chips. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brett the Hitman Hart from WWE. That's right. One of the biggest wrestlers. A lot of the old wrestlers were from Canada, like those guys, the first generation ones. Uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper was Canadian, well, uh, immigrated to Canada. Sebastian Bach from uh, Skid Row. He was born in the Bahamas, but raised in Canada. Oh, you moved. Hun, you got me on the focus here. <laughs> See, it only Big focuses time. on me. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, because it's mostly on you. That's right. There you go. 
Oh my god. Hello, oh. welcome home, Stephanie. Yes, so great to have you here. <clears throat> there are Tombo Canadians. There's our honorary Canadian, best friend your friend, yeah. Stephanie. <laughs> So good to have you here. We missed you. I know you've been working crazy schedules and stuff like that, but we really, really missed you. We talk with you all the time. We were celebrating our 1500 and then we dropped by two, but that will come back. Up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just a while ago. I have to go check now. I'm getting. Uh... Yeah, we're still missing one from 1500 again, so. That's right, Steph. You are. In heart, you are. Oh, Bits of Real Panther. Sorry, I didn't even notice you there. My apologies. So good to have you here. This has been like the like one of those greatest hits albums you can buy. You know, yeah, it's the compilation so album. Tonight has been the... This has been such an amazing stream. Just hanging out with all of you and all all the great channels we're by tonight. So amazing. You guys are all superstars. Oh, so, uh, sorry, Bits are real bad. I apologize for that. Sorry, we're doing a lot of share screens and stuff like that. I'm so happy you're here. There's a, it wouldn't be a show, a full show without you. So, and like it's just been a steady stream tonight, eh? Of just one, all the great channels just kind of overlapping and that. Liquid, which <laughs> couldn't be in the better day, really, yeah. when we are celebrating uh, our 15. Hundred, it's really nice to see homecoming. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a homecoming. I uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, Dexter, uh, what is the website you use to see your analytics? Like the one? Oh, that's uh, Social Blade. You put in Social Blade and then just type your channel name into it. <coughs> um, here, let's look you up. An example. <laughs> ball caps. I know when he turns the camera off, he goes that ball caps was an asshole tonight. No. And then bits of real panther says sometimes he just waits until you leave. Yeah, and sometimes I don't even wait for him to go. No, I we wouldn't call you that. You make the show bottle caps. You're you're like my uh uh what's his name to Johnny Carson there? We just said it the other night. Uh oh my god, oh my oh you guys know his name, so he's going to post it. I'm having a complete and utter brain fart on that one. So, Dexter, you go to Social Blade, and then you put in your name up here in the search like I just did. So you search for Dexter. There you are. You click. And there you have all your stats. So here's your user summary, your grade, video rank according to them. What they figure roughly you could make right now, you're between two and twenty six dollars a month if you're monetized. So, nothing to retire on. Don't feel bad. It's the same for all of us. I hear it shows the subscribers per day, video views, estimated earnings. And from there, you can go to future projections. And we'll go right down to five years the way you're going right now. You'll have almost 100,000 subs. Good stuff. And the detailed features, small, similar channels, user videos. And then you go to live subscriber count. That takes a second to update. Yes, it's free. And there you go. And then you can see your live count. We can leave you up for a minute. You got two left. But you're pretty social butterfly in here. I'm not sure if there's anybody in here who you haven't uh, hooked up with yet, which is fantastic. 
if there's anybody there that hasn't checked out Dexter yet, it's a great time to check them out. Uh, we've done a couple tonight. We've done St. Auto hit 1500 on here. We've hit a... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm really starting to forget stuff. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Win City got 200. Win Cities, yes. And the Family Channel got 800. Oh, Felicia. Oh, there, yes. he had a 480 right away. Well, <laughs> that didn't take very long, did it? <laughs> Ed McMahon, thank you so much. For the love of God, yes, Ed McMahon. So, Bottle Caps, you're my Ed McMahon. And Stephanie, since you didn't hear when you were here, we were celebrating our 1500. We also got our yes. Uh, oh, here I'll, I'll turn off so you can our show. guest mail. Uh, today we got um, uh, Julian Miranda from the Unrideable Rant uh, sent us uh, their flask and the beautiful card and the note with it. Um, did you want to show it? Oh, sure. Oh, you want to show? I was going to show a sticker. And, and we did a little unboxing. Sent us this flask. Yeah. Which oh, is so cool. very nice of her. So amazing. Yeah. Ooh so la la is we right. Today. And then today, instead of, uh, well, some tech questions, we're doing a little, little rollout uh, for our friends and family. Numbers. Imagine that stuff. That'd be a great thing for you when you're crying in the shower chugging vodka. That'd be perfect size. You need a couple of them? But you then... and Ball Cap should get on, and then me and Steph should get on, and we should see who wins at the end. <laughs> That's right, Bits of Real Panther. Never a wrong time to break it out. <laughs> fancy, fancy. That's right. Oh, no, don't leave. No, no, we just got you here. No. <laughs> oh, my God, oh, lady. Find a healthy pull of flicker at lunch really helps you get through the rest of your work day. <laughs> yeah. Words to live by. No words. <laughs> Was it full? No, but there is a contest that they are doing. Uh, on their podcast, if you watch, if you listen to it and leave the review, you can win a full bottle of bourbon. Yep, she's a real bourbon aficionado. Yeah, so so go check Julianne uh, Miranda's uh, YouTube. Uh, they have their social links there too, and on their Twitter, um, they have posted the new contest. So check that out. And whiskey is carb free. That's right, Doug. Yeah, that's the best part of it, right? Best friend in your thread, <laughs> liquor lunch, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, there's a difference between whiskey and bourbon. So. Yeah, it is for sure. Yeah, and uh, Juliet talked about that on her uh, live stream when she was um, guesting. <laughs> that's how I roll. Can I can claim they that they are better than the U.S. because nobody attempts to go over the falls on the U.S. side. <laughs> <laughs> how do you say we always have a better view that's what we always say you guys got the better falls but we got the better view so are you streaming tonight Steph I haven't seen you streaming for a long long time honey are you okay yeah we're kind of worried about you to be honest <laughs> I know you've been busy and working hard yeah Hash browns or vodka for breakfast. They're both potatoes, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Not to mention the US has that's four hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's not like a Canada's walking around with its nose in the air. It's just be the biggest thing is we just do not have the population to make such an impact. I mean I've used it time and time again that the population of California is the population of Canada. One state equals the whole country. So it's it's a little harder to make such a big impact. And 75% of us live within 100 kilometers of the U.S. border. Yeah, ball cats, almost all of us are at sea, pretty much, that are doing anything with their channels. <clears throat> That's, uh, no, no, it's on the right track. And sea is not bad at all. Uh, you probably started off like the same as the rest of it. I think it's like D minus or something like that and work your way up. I mean, you eventually want to be like in the B's, but uh, 
like here, here, let's say. Uh, and that's a good question, actually. That's because it is, they come up with their own grading social blade. So, like, uh, the channel ranking is not based on, like, just, like, uh, how many subscribers you have and that. It's where your channel's going, how your growth is going. But, of course, it's, it's got to base itself on numbers. So, let's go to social blade. By the way, did you guys know that uh, Nikola Tesla was the one that uh, started to convert the uh, uh, Niagara Falls uh, water into power energy? A little tidbit of information. Yeah, there you go. See, it has a 1500, and I'm going to drop the, unless we're back up again. Maybe we're back up. I don't know. I'll have to check right now. And let's... we're back down by one still. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh, all righty and, and it is hard like i say as you get bigger because i did go and check out a lot of new channels i went through a lot of the hiking ones and stuff that i really like and some come in and they're saying like oh i added you that and yeah and the bigger you get the thing people think like well they it's almost like they don't really need the subscription but see your subscriber rank uh video view rank we're way up than we used to be at like 13 million here or something like that and this one around 9 million i forget but it's um uh, c is good c is growth and you see here too you can check even the, the channel where it's out of because that's what i watch for sometimes too you know which country is coming out of and that uh just to double check so once again there's ours that's where we're going and uh, eric um Erwin, uh the Pinterest uh well um Stephanie is right there mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are around five hours away. Uh more than not. Uh yeah. We're further than oh, yeah. New York. Yeah, well she's in New York, but she's at the end No, of the I know, end. but New York City. We're further than no, New York. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. You'd have to go up and over. Yeah. yeah. It's about eight hours. Well, look how long it took to drive to Niagara Falls. Yeah, I thought it was yeah. closer. That's why I felt like closer. There's, I'm bringing up a big channel right now just to give you guys an example. And this is Linus Tech Tips. This is a Canadian channel. Uh, you see, they got an A minus. Their subscriber rank is 554th. So they're still not even in the top. And they, like, you see, these guys go between usually uh, eight to 10,000. So there can you imagine twelve thousand people in one day joining your channel but they started off very small too and it's the luck of the draw guys that's what it is like there you look at their future project projections you know in five years they got them having 43 million subscribers their views at seven billion hello uh jewish redneck peppers hey how are you welcome Good to have you here. Now let's go to the biggest subscriber channel of all time. PewDiePie. Yeah, our son was uh, again watching it today oh. because he had a, a video about uh, book club he's doing every month. He's reading books and then reviewing them. Actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so He's reinventing himself a lot. Yeah. See, there, there's a great example. See, because that's why I wanted to come to these. Subscriber rank is fourth, video rank is sixth. And on Social Blade, they have him at 92. He's not in the, he's in the top 100, but like not even the top 50. So it just shows you even the, the most subscribed channel in the world. Who is the first then? Some kind of celebrity? Like, uh, uh it's, uh, I think it's one of the big network ones, like oh. for music, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, Emo or something stupid like that. Like you see there again, like look at like thirty-two thousand people joined on Sunday. Like seriously, twenty, you know. Well, his uh, view count for one video is close to one million. Yeah. Like he just posted a video today, yeah. and we watched it in the afternoon, and it was eight hundred thousand yep. views. Yep. And That's I mean, it's crazy. open to anybody. These guys didn't. These guys didn't get any more opportunity than anybody else. They started off back when there was no money in YouTube. Uh, well, yeah, 2010, he would have just been getting around to the first wave of, like, uh, but still. Chris was saying today, oh, 
oh my god he has almost 70 uh, billion i watched him when he was just over 20. yeah exactly exactly <laughs> we haven't stopped uh, yeah. to watch him since so so no use to beat any, anybody beat themselves up and you know yeah it is a lot of pressure like he was talking about today that his books that he's talking about every month uh, some uh bookstore in uk actually had a layout of all the books that he has reviewed in the previous months uh, as a selling point let's, but never credit him credited uh, him to that <laughs> i hate doing this but let's look at uh, the so idiot. yeah so of course they're influencing so many people uh, there's a guy who's gone down though a lot as when you know his numbers but still in a high bracket for revenue and th these guys aren't making much money off the adsense everybody's got to realize that it's their merch that's making them all the cash that's where the big money is you see even jake paul for all the coverage he gets and then he's still 67th uh top list uh top 50 youtubers let's see who they got first uh t-series yeah i see it's all this stuff like look at india because video views look at the numbers 38 billion it's, it's incredible 45 million subs you know this is what gets a lot of it their fifth place goes to wwe it's mostly like network stuff and that uh, ryan toy reviews oh no stuff who burnt her veggie pizza oh uh oh Ball caps, how did you got it working? Did it just go through the SD as it should, or did you have to use something? I wonder what you were trying to use before if it wasn't the laptop now. I kind of assumed it was laptop when you asked it yesterday. Um, See, bottle caps done good, February 13th. Yeah, uh, he said he's going to have 40,000 by 2020. There you go. So, see? Dexter is going for a drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you got copy striked. We'll have to ask about that when you come back. Who did? Dexter. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I can still go for some barbecue right now. Mm. Yeah, I was talking today with Southern uh, Food uh, junkie southern food junkie mm -hmm. and uh, he lives in a barbecue state and so he was talking about all kinds of barbecued pork and oh my god i said stop because <laughs> i just want to eat same as watching those cooking channels now. at like two in the morning and now i'm like why am i doing this to myself you know, you know? in a tree house thank you in a tree house do you have a tree house mm -hmm. i would love to come and also go swimming that sounds like a paradise there you go, bits of real panther. There's an idea. Hey, yeah, that would be lovely. That's a good idea. Yeah, everybody's coming over a step, so hmm. be ready. <laughs> Steph's gonna live stream. No, everybody wants to come over to the um, tree house. To pull oh, for sorry. Her. I'm sorry because I was. That's what happens when I share screen. Then I come back and I'm completely lost. So I apologize. That cannon to the computer, an SD card to the phone, which has a converter on, and the, with the power director out. Well, pretty crafty. Yep. Um, I, I don't know why you couldn't just uh, use the Ampig stream clip that I suggested to you, um, but if that works, also good. That's what you like doing, do it. Mm hmm. Okay, sounds like a plan stuff. We're on our way. Well, guys, I think it's in time we're going to sign off. I hate to because tonight has been one of the greatest nights. It's always fun, always great guests, but tonight was just spectacular. Yes, we're down to $14.99. That's killing me, but you know what? Thank you for so much for celebrating 1500 with us the way you did. Just sit back and talk to you guys. What about Super Chat money? What about it? The live stream liquor party. Yeah, we couldn't wish it all get wasted on live. 
<laughs> about to get geeks in. <laughs> you guys haven't seen Geeks live stream about two weeks ago. I know uh, best friend was there, and I, maybe model counts for you there too. That was hilarious. They had quite a night, such a good night. The next week, they live streamed their live stream from the week before, watching it like a reaction. Because they didn't quite remember everything that they said or went on. <laughs> Steph, but Philip, can you feed me or cook for me? Thank you. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Obama. I'll put him to shame. <laughs> they were pretty good though. I think they no, they were started drinking at the end of, of our live stream, but they were really good though. Oh yeah, I love them. I love them so much laughing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much too. Uh we'll have to sign off as well. Thank you so much. within hiking distance, not a problem. Not a problem. And I'm sure it's gonna be a great stream. So don't worry about that. Really looking forward to having you guys. So. Yeah, for those of uh, you who missed the beginning, tomorrow we're going to have Within Hiking Distance now in the chat as our guests. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Travel yeah. chat and awesome couple. Doug, you have a fantastic night, my friend. Thank you so much for coming. And you and Stephanie, is it? you and Susie, excuse me, it's so great to have you guys together here all the time. It's so amazing now knowing that you guys are married. I love it. Teethrog, always great, my friend. Such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Terrell, oh, Terrell's thinking like the Panther. <laughs> yeah, Phil, yes, Philip, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It was really nice doing it with you guys. Really nice to celebrate with you guys. Thank you so, so much. And Panic. we'll see you tomorrow again um, at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's every night except for Sunday. Take care, guys. Bye. Cheers and keep creating. Thank you so much for everything. We really owe you a lot. Take care. Love you all. Bye now.